dissing all his mum and everyone. Yeah, there's a little bit Christmas. of cussing in there, which they yeah. bleeped out, thankfully. Carl's in a bad mood already. <laughs> he's been in about three minutes and he's in a bad mood, getting stressed. If you can't hack it, leave. What's the matter with you? No, I'm just saying. It's been... I was meant to enjoy last Saturday off and I didn't. Why not? Why is that our fault? Because you weren't here. Just because... I don't know, but... <laughs> Are you not in the Christmas spirit? Why didn't you enjoy last Christmas. Saturday? What, what did you I do? Went, you went I went, right, I went all the way back up north again, right, because, uh, it was Suzanne's dad's birthday, right? I was busy last week, didn't have time to get him a present or anything. Didn't have time to get him a present. So I got to Euston Station, bought a card for him, which was a Christmas card, so he wasn't happy because he was saying it's my birthday and I said, well, I won't be seeing you again. So I've got a joint card and then we went out- Did you get him a present? Well, no, because we went out on Saturday night for something to eat at this pub that he likes. It's a nice steak and onion mm -hmm. rings, mm -hmm. right? Lovely. So, he should have been happy anyway. Yeah. But- <laughs> Well, you paid for it. No, no. But he should have been happy anyway. Suzanne paid for that, because it is her dad, uh -huh. right, not mine. So I said, all right, what, what, what can I do? I said to her. So she said, just buy a few drinks or something. Anyway, I didn't get around to getting drinks. I can't believe it. Didn't get around to getting the drinks. Right, so right. I said, right, I'll pay for the cab. Right? Oh, what a lovely Christmas gift that is. Yeah, so £2.50. I paid, no, it in, was like in three, quid there, three quid back. So oh. six quid you spent on him? Well, no, I spent more, you see, that's what he said. He you said, you get oh. the Bolton and back, can't he you, said, for that? He said, oh, you've spent on me six quid for my birthday. I said, no, I haven't, because I gave the taxi driver a tip. I'm a little bit worried about his attitude as well. Because <laughs> even if, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is a stingy present, but you don't go, you don't well, say. That's, I mean, let's be honest, that's the worst Christmas gift ever, because, yeah. I mean, you're pretty bad, like we've discussed in the past, but at least you spend a bit of money. Yeah. It's just thoughtless. Yeah. This is nothing. I know. I've given him any time. I mean, I would. And I knew, and I knew my, my demographic. They loved it, oh, my yeah, family. You, yeah, the they couldn't cards. believe their luck. <laughs> you know. Well, a tenner. You spent a tenner on him? Well, the cab fare was six quid. But, but, but the thing is, he doesn't, it's not a, I don't think he's saying that. I think it's the fact that this is like, you know, frittering away and well, I'm like, he would, he would have loved to, I'm sure he would have been appreciative of a lovely ten pound gift that you cared about and bought. A book he probably likes fly fitting, doesn't he, by J.R. Hartley. Mm -hmm. If you'd have bought that, he'd have gone, that's what I was looking for. Well. Or E, what I was looking for, Carl. <laughs> e, bloody hell, Carl, <laughs> you little balls twat. <laughs> that's just what I wanted. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so just calm just down. Think, so, what have you got planned for uh, for Christmas? Is this what I mean? Have you are you spent? Are you, are you doing the same? Oh, Carl, with Carl, excellent! You've paid me milk bill for this week. <laughs> that were re nice. I'm spent this year. So, so have you planned anything for Suzanne, or are you just? Yeah, I'm taking her out Christmas Day for something to eat. Well, right. don't. Does she know that? Is that? Is that? She's working today, so she. Do, she. Yeah. So right. Okay. So, what Christmas gift have you got? That's it. I'm taking her out. What you haven't got? You haven't got a present. No, because we've spent a lot of Don't forget, that's half yours, though. You're gonna be eating, you're not gonna just be sitting there watching her eat, going, <laughs> oh, I'm hungry, but I've spent all of it. You're gonna be eating as well. That's half yours. So you've got, she's got Look nothing at his face. to unwrap. It's it, 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 like a cat who's but been wait hit. A she's got nothing to unwrap. There's nothing. She's gonna hand something over to you, because I've met the woman, she will. She'll hand something over, you'll open it, you'll love it. I, I might get something today. <laughs> <laughs> something. <laughs> well, you shouldn't take me to begrudgingly persuade oh, you to do it. God. Yeah. Right. Right, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're gonna- I'm gonna try and stick in some, uh, Christmas songs. We're not playing all Christmas songs, but I've brought in a couple- So this is Christmas, John Lennon, yeah, uh, The River, Joni Mitchell, yeah. uh, Fairy Town, New York, one of the best Christmas songs oh. ever. Oh, well, what about a bit of Pretenders? That's a good one, 2,000 Miles. Let's hear it. Pretenders, 2,000 Miles, on XFM 104.9. This sort of Christmas edition, we're not here next week, are we? No. Carl is, aren't you? Well, you are, in a way. I was doing a best of, innit? Yeah, yeah. Is it a best of? Yeah. Brilliant. Have you what? been putting it together? Not yet. Okay. Well, you I'll, get I'll, do it, I'll do it today. Tell right. me what bits you want in it and I'll sort it out. It's not for me All to say, is it? Yeah, what? it is the best stuff. Well, maybe people could email in with their, uh, their, the highlights of the year for them. I'm trying to think what they were. I mean, mostly it'd talking be mostly, to Carl. It'd be mostly Carl, wouldn't mostly it? Mostly Carl. Gibberish from Carl. Oh, it'd be, I, I think it'd be an awful lot of educating Ricky from Carl. Mm. Mm. Well, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you've got any thoughts on uh, stuff you'd like to hear <laughs> again. I Is there any, uh, anything you'd like to hear of Carl saying something stupid, me and Steve laughing or slapping him? Yeah. That's basically the competition, yeah. isn't well, it? Well, there's a couple of instances where I tried to kiss him, I think, and you encouraged me. Yeah. Those are uh, some highlights for me. Well, just, uh, I wish I had a video of that. Yeah, so do I. You mentioned educating Ricky. Uh, yeah. we've only got- do you know we normally have like three installments? Mm. Yeah. We've only got two today. Why? Why? Just, um, well, you clearly weren't busy Christmas shopping, so what were you- what's the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, like I say every week, it's a bit of a struggle finding stuff that I can teach you. But, but at the same time, what we have got, we've started the feature, I teased MTV with it, right? Uh, so I thought I'd best start doing it before they get someone like Zane Lowe presenting it or something. Yeah. So, do we need them? 
do we need them? And yeah. you should explain do we need them for those that, that don't like the show. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's sort of education right. about animals and stuff, and if we need them. So, like, uh, David Attenborough once said, uh, you can get rid of people off the earth and it would carry on, there's no problems, but, you know, get rid of a monkey and <laughs> you could have problems on your hands. So, <laughs> Is gonna... that a direct quote from Attenborough's <laughs> current autobiography? Yeah. Like I think so, yeah. So, so yeah. what I've done today, right? He all starts having things with, uh, right, so then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> but he, and he always ends things, you got yourself all quite to cut all sorts of problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that, that's yeah. done, that's, that's coming up. Enjoy that, enjoy so, that. I've spoke to a woman about, um, jellyfish. Oh yeah, cause I know you're not a fan. Not a fan of them, so we'll be speaking to Women or jellyfish? It, this is a woman. <laughs> Either. <about> jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be sorting that out before three o'clock, we'll be finding out if we need them. <laughs> 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 that one to bed. He's great, and he's great. And then we've got a uh, Christmas edition of Rockbusters, which oh. I found out yesterday. Go on. Channel 4 have ripped it off. Go on. It's on their, uh, teletext thing. That's what outrageous. Mean? Yeah, on their teletext page, someone said. <coughs> what are they doing then? Like Rockbusters, they're copying the format. You sure they're not copying Blockbusters? No, no, it's, it's, uh, someone said it's a cryptic clue of a band and that, and initials, and you work it out. That is despicable. I mean, right. we should investigate this. So they've, they've, they've fundamentally ripped off the idea of being out, allowed to do a cryptic clue to guess a band. Yeah, but they, they sort of clever cryptic clues. <laughs> well, oh, they sorry, they, 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 they certainly have ripped you off then, have they? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Hey, so. I should just point out, because it's Christmas time, we've had an email from Dickie Anderson. Whee! Oh, Dickers! Uh, yeah, R.A. is, uh, well, he's, 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 I suppose he's a long time listener. Yeah. Um, and he emails us most, uh, most weeks. Uh, Ricky. If, as I suspect, I'm your only listener, I wouldn't bother with your show today, as I've got to attend some family Christmas nonsense at Auntie Marion's house. <laughs> okay, That's from great. Dickie Anderson, and, uh, he's, he's good because considering he hates the show and, uh, everything we stand for, he does, he does take the time to email every week. That we counts, that counts to advertisers. Yeah. I think we've got a lot like him. Mm. Mm. As we've also had a lovely Christmas card here from Alexandra, right? Who's, uh, wishes, lo she loves the show, she loves you, Carl, and she's enclosed some biscuits, biscuits for you to save you a bit of money, because she knows <laughs> you goes out and get your, your own biscuits, then no, we've got some, a lovely little it. packet of Fox's well, why don't creations. you wrap them up and you can give them to your <laughs> <Yeah>. girlfriend? <laughs> 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 And Blitzen from the About a Boy soundtrack by Badly Drawn Boy. Christmas theme there. Christmas, Christmas yeah. theme there. You spotted the Christmas theme. Yeah. Carl's not really in festive mood, but uh. I can't imagine Christmas is your time of year, is it, Carl? Well, I'm not sure any time of the year is really. I liked it when I was about. I think when I was about seven, I enjoyed it. Mm. Was that That's the right. one? Was that the year, the big you year get, for you? You get loads of stuff you don't have to worry about anyone else, but once you've, like, got a job. What did you get when you. When, when were you doing your paper round? How old were you then? I was about, uh, 13, 14. But well, that was you then, your own man, weren't I you? Had to, you? I had to, uh, yeah, I had to buy stuff. Oh. But you're still not You're quite a good selfish time. man, aren't you? I didn't realise this. <laughs> no, 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 it's just that Christmas. And that's coming from him, Carl. My dad always said. Oh, right, steady on. Dad said Christmas morning was for, like, you know, for me, so he used to stay in bed. Mm. So he, ne he never- That's that brilliant. That's a great thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Christmas morning's for you. <laughs> Run wild. Do what you want. Just yeah, don't so, follow so me. I'm going to Honolulu <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Dad, it's Christmas. Do I have to do anything? No. So my mum used to get up, cause she used to like to see me face light up, you know, when, when I opened my presents. And then, uh... <laughs> fireworks. And then, uh... <laughs> then I'd have to go to my bedroom from about six o'clock onwards, cos, like, my mum and dad were into having big Christmas parties, and I wasn't, like, old enough to go. Right. So they'd say, right, you know, you've had your fun there, you go up to your bedroom, stay in there. <laughs> really? Yeah, I remember one year, right, I got, got a train set, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Right? Brilliant. <laughs> uh, playing with it all day. I thought, I don't mind about the party, I'm happy staying up here, playing with this. Brother comes in. He's had a few, right? He's going, yeah, give us a go on your How train. How old is he? He's, he's a bit older than me, so he, he might have been like, uh, let's see. Well, let me, let him be 18. About, yeah, probably about 18, 19, and something like you? that. I was, well, I had a train set, so, I don't know, about- 14. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Right, so, uh, so I'm playing on that, loving it and stuff, and then he comes in and goes, oh, give us a go. He turns the transformer up to like 14. He went really fast for about five seconds. Broke it, and then he went back downstairs. 
Wow. So Christmas Iron in got Sounds Christmas like Day. the, uh, Conservative government with, uh, British Rail. Satire, <laughs> Satire, yeah. I just thought that there's satire. It's that there's sound. only satirical it's shows, it's in all magazines. It doesn't work, it doesn't work in any way, cause there's, 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 the analogy falls down, no. apart from there being a train. Think it through though, British Rail was trains. <laughs> yeah. And the government broke the trains in many, well they didn't break them, like, not officially breaking them, but they kind of- No. Yeah. It's yeah, it does work, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. And I can't, and, and no one's asked him to be on the Vargonis for you. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Cause it, it, it's strange. <laughs> when yeah. you've got a satirical mind that that's, that's as quick as that. Yeah. All and right. it, it's about your little train set. So what did you do? I just like watched telly and had some sausages. <laughs> I bet you were happy with that though, weren't you? Uh, it's a bit annoying though, isn't it, when your main present of the year has been broke. And, and did, then, it, uh, did it ever get it fixed? No, that was it. That was it. Put away. I'm intrigued why your parents wouldn't let you come and join in the festive fun. Was because it like really debauched down there? Was it like eggnog no, everywhere? Well, no, so but like I mean, that's fair enough. Six seems a little bit early, but I just think, you know, if you're your kid, you, you, you know, he had his fun, put him to bed, put him to bed at eight, maybe. <laughs> and he was on Christmas Day, I thought that was a day for family. Well, not if there's a party going on. And well, I don't have the party on Christmas Day, is Well, that's, point. that's, that's another option. Yeah. yeah. Your parents are weird, aren't they a strange breed? Well, I think that was the year, right? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking about buying presents and stuff, I think I did treat me mum to I didn't buy my dad anything, I think that was like when I got a bit older he used to get me dad something, cause he wasn't that bothered anyway. No. Mm. So, uh, got me mum, uh, there was a cheap shop. Right. Of course. Uh, Thank God for that. Called Snips. Right? <laughs> so I went in there and I thought, let's see what I can get her. And remember, uh, Victoria Plum? I don't think so. Well, it's like a, a fairy character. Right. Right. I mean, mum's into gnomes <laughs> and stuff, right? So <laughs> I thought, right. You must be pleased with you then. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, Victoria uh, Plum. I was thinking, is that one of the neighbours? Is it? Is it like a brandy? Do you liqueur? remember Victoria Plum? Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum. Yeah, it's like a little fictional sort of character. Right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I saw it. I thought, yeah, she'll love that. Right. So I did my paper round, saved up for two weeks. Right. Oh. Got that sorted. Went to Snips, bought the uh, Victoria Plum. Next day, I'm in I'm in town with her. Right. So I think, ah, oh, I know what I'll do. I said, come come in here a minute. Right. Uh, so we go in and we're looking around and I tested her, right? I went, look at that there, that's all right, innit? And she goes, oh, it's bloody awful. <laughs> oh, Carl. <laughs> oh, Carl. I just, I, I, oh, God. So then Christmas Day comes and I said, oh. don't bother opening it. She said, no, no, why? Said, oh, no, why didn't you still give it to her? So, well, it was too late, I'd already bought it. Oh, Carl. So she opened it and I was like, <sighs> and she said, oh, that's nice. I said, why are you saying that? I said, the other day, so it's bloody awful. She said, oh no, I thought you were pointing at something else. Oh, oh no! So that's why I don't get anyone anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Play record! Oh god! Oh! It was good, innit? What about? Gold Rush. Let you down. I'm, I'm actually quite affected by Carl's Victoria Plum scenario. Just the fact that, like that, that eagerness, he, he wants to make sure it's a great present, he's saved up his paper round, he thinks it's like a gnome, but modern. I'm worried that you're using it as an excuse now, and that's why you're not buying anyone any gifts, because you've had your fingers burned once. I mean, you were six, seven years old. To be fair. No, you weren't. You were about thirteen, weren't you, if you're doing your paper round? Yeah, well, oh, it right. must, must have been, yeah, eleven or twelve then. Oh, right. Yeah, so I'd, I'd saved up. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not using it as a thing, it's just that- What do you get your mum this year? Um, I've sent them um, some money so they can, uh, get a passport. So they can get a passport? <laughs> what, what do you mean, where are, are they? Immigrants? Are they trapped no, somewhere? <laughs> well, <laughs> they're, they're, they're in a holding bay yeah. somewhere in Dover. Yeah, like, what do you think? who's a truck driver is <laughs> gonna sneak them across. <laughs> for, for new what year. do you mean? So they can buy a passport, what do they do, sell it when they're no, a bit- they're <laughs> a bit down in their luck? <laughs> No, they, they haven't got that much money, right? They've never been abroad, and the mate said they might, uh tack them next year, and they said, oh, we haven't got a passport, so I thought- You haven't got to buy a passport, have you? Cause Isn't you that your God-given right as an Englishman? No, you've got to pay for them, they're thirty quid each, so you better add do, otherwise they're conning me. Right. <laughs> so you sent them sixty quid? You can't get born with a passport, yeah. of course you, you don't. You sent them sixty quid in an envelope, have you? Well, check. Right. Yeah. I love that. It, 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 uh, if you're watching Teddy and uh, France to come on and they go, oh, what do you think of that? She goes, it looks bloody awful. <laughs> yeah, go, oh, don't, oh, open no. don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. So oh. you've not, you've not paid for a holiday for them. You, you've, you've, no, you've just sorted out the, well, it's, it's the better prize, isn't it? Because they can't go anywhere <laughs> without it. Well, the passport <laughs> keeps on giving. Yeah. So, ten years, ten years. That, yeah. that is, yeah.
So, but no, I never used to, I mean, I can't think of other things. I used to get me dad once, once I started getting him stuff, it used, sort of used to be a uh, dressing gown. Yeah. And then, but as an extra surprise, he used to put like a cigar in the pocket, so he'd think that was it. Yeah. Then he'd put it on and put his hand in the pocket. Right. Go and then he'd just is... hit you because he thought you'd nicked it. <laughs> 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 oh, so, dear. So you bought uh, him a jacket with a cigar? That's quite thoughtful. Yeah. Didn't you sneak a cigar once on yeah, Christmas? Yeah. Well, it was when, that's when they used to have like the big do's, like I say. You know, they were, they were known for it. Like the, f the whole estate used to know that. You know, we were having a party. Yeah. So, uh, so they'd all come round. So they'd all come round and scan you know, food and drink yeah. and that. And oh, pocket, what, yeah, I can't ornaments. imagine. I cannot imagine how unpleasant that must have Awful. been. Awful. Awful. And you yeah. locked in your bedroom with a broken train set. Yeah. And, quiet. and looking at Victoria Plum, <laughs> yeah. whatever that was. In the bin. Oh, uh, in the bin, yeah. <laughs> and hear a mum saying, and he got me this. He got me this, this piece shit. of rubbish. You could hear him just throwing it against the yeah. wall and, and laughing. All, and all the neighbours laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd come down, just be in pieces with loads of spit on it. <laughs> yeah. Just loads of garb on it. Eyes. And all the Polaroids of them just like laughing at yeah, him, pointing, stamping on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, all back. But no, no, I used to get up in the morning and then like they'd still, still sort of all be there asleep on the floor and on the sofa. And oh, oh, that's awful. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Christmas is surely the one day a year which is a family thing. It's for the kids. They're the ones no, that but that was Boxing Day. Well, I know. Oh, that's all right. It's, not, it's, <laughs> it's, over. it's over. Yeah. Back on Christmas the bike. All right. You, 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 yeah. Who's going to pay for this? What, me? Yes, Carl. <laughs> You're doing two rounds today. Yeah, what's your paper round supporting the entire family? <laughs> yeah. No, so, so I used to get up and, like, go downstairs and they'd be asleep so I'd be mooching about trying to find, like, another present that's still working. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I yeah. love the idea that these people from the estate had like <laughs> squashed his presents. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I found a cigar that had been sort of lit up and then put out, so I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. I went outside and had a go and that's the last time I smoked. Right. Sort of, I tried it, I thought, I don't like that. I love that he does everything once. Yeah. In yeah. his life. It's, like, it's a line of, I've done everything once, I don't need to do it again. Oh, dear. You know, I've, I've said in the past to you, Rick, that my grandparents, so I love them dearly, but it's like, for the last thirty years, they've been waiting to die. I know, It's yeah. like they just sort of, it's like, you know, the novelty wore off of like, <laughs> life. Life in the fifties. Yeah, got kind of bored of it. Like, yeah, in the forties, <laughs> it was brilliant, all sat around the old Joanna's and Bob's <laughs> yeah. Trail singing, they loved that. In the fifties, you know, that was great as well, because that was the post-war years, it was, you know, it was a bit tight in the pocket, but it was alright, everyone pulled together. And then the sixties came along, all the crazy music, the let's, funny hair. Let's stay in bed. They, they, exactly, and they basically stayed in bed. And, uh, it was one Christmas when, um, my, my, my grandmother said to my dad, uh, what do you like for Christmas? What, what do you fancy for Christmas? And, uh, this must have been, well, I don't know, twenty years ago? She said, uh, what do you, uh, what do you fancy for Christmas, Ron? And he went, well, you know, I could do with a nice big kind of warm winter overcoat. She said, don't worry about that. She said, don't worry about that, because your father will be dead soon. It's right, you can have his. Meaning my granddad. Well, to be honest with you, my father's still waiting. <laughs> Which is good news. Good news for my grandfather. <laughs> Less good news for it's my dad. He's freezing. He's freezing. He's freezing. How, he runs out, how is he today? He's yeah. fine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh I'm freezing. It is fair, it's such a weird a mindset, that. I think it's that, to me, is what sums up people from that older generation, the 40s and 50s. And it seems to me that you've got that kind of mindset. It's like you were born in the 30s. And whenever you talk of your childhood, it's like you had, like, a baked I potato to take well, to I, school. I, I, and no, a poop I, and a stick is a Christmas The gift. other thing is, I think that it, it, that sort of generation, it, it seems that the man is dependent on on the woman. Mm. There's a total dependence. Oh, absolutely, if, yeah. if she dies, he's done. Yes. He's yes. done for. It, yeah. it just pine away. If he dies, she's got thirty years of pottering. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and going yeah. to like you know uh, the, the youth club and the yeah, church. I know what you mean, yeah. it, it's sort of like that. It's it, it's, fa it's sad. Of course, it's sad for them, but it's so not the end of their life. No, sure. And it sort of is the other way around. I, I don't know, know why that is. is. Yeah. it's terrible. That's a little melancholy thought for. Uh, I know. I've really, what you brought it down. You've brought it down. I've brought it. Down. This isn't a nice show at all. This is terrible. Well, We're gonna have people make just killing themselves. What? Well, I, d I didn't really want to make it a Christmassy type show because I don't, don't really like it. Oh, he's done it again. Well, he did Christmas once, didn't like it. No, it's just Play a record. I'm not, I'm not religious or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you? You're not anything. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.
Page Fan Club from the XFM Christmas album, and that's Christmas Eve. Their guitar sounds are just brilliant. They're just always so nice. All right, Carl, would you like that? Would you like Teenage Fan Club? Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're they're good. Right. Carl, I feel like you've never kind of enjoyed the wonder of Christmas. I don't think, I can't ever get the sense, maybe except when you were very, very young. You know, that kind of bright eyed, you know, thinking of Santa, you know, kind of um, landing on the roof and coming down the chimney and drinking the, the sherry or whatever. I, so I like I like the idea of it, right? Sure. The, the sort of, you know, uh, I used to like, I used to get a couple of annuals every year, you know what I mean? Yeah, so did I, yeah. And I was allowed to open one on Christmas Eve. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, just, yeah, so, <laughs> so they could throw it on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think, I think the, uh, it's well, like, it's through, do the words, yeah, right. yeah. I think they had to light with cigar off the yeah. cooker. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, listen, I'm um, a good friend of ours, Ross Noble, he's comedian, brilliant. Uh, he's given me this picture, Carl, which he's got from magazine. He loves you. And he I have to you. say, I think this. <laughs> I just looked at it then. <laughs> well, I, I'm, obviously, it's not going to mean much to the listener. Oh, this is something It's currently but available, I'm... I think it's in the current edition of Bizarre magazine, so um, you might want to buy is that. It's not horrible, never... though, is it? it, it, it there's, so, there's a certain grotesqueness about it. Oh, but it's, I a, just think it's I... a deformed person, but, isn't it? Well, to a degree, but I think what it's going to do for Carl is give him, I think, just, I think for you and I, Rick, we're going to see his face. <laughs> light up. Brighten up. Lighten oh. up. Like opening a, a wonderful Christmas gift. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen this. Is this the one with the kid with the big head? I'll be honest with you, Carl, it is. Have you seen it already? Yeah. Let me just show it to you again so you can kind of- no, I haven't seen it. It's like- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't be laughing at that. No, but that is like the kid who I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> that is the same. That can't be the so same. So do you recognise him? Seriously, that- that- that is the same <laughs> thing you had. I mean, oh, I have to say, oh, it does look sure. like it's been computer generated, it's so old. Yeah. Oh, I've done. Yeah. But look at the, the chart's face. I look know. His reaction. Well, Don't take another photo of me. I'm, I'm not sure this is right. It's not right, it's not right. But I just, I was hoping that that would give you, Carl, just a little glimpse of. Uh, We've had a request as well on the, the, the best bits to someone wants to hear you talking about your mates with the big heads. I don't uh, believe it because every time we go there, I get we get some sort of complaint about something. It's about what? To leave it. Well, it, that for some reason that always goes from the story with my dad going to Blackpool for <laughs> taking those kids there. And yeah. what kids? And, uh, for, leave it. No, no what? what? No, I don't no, There's people well, who know what you're talking I'll about. I'll tell you when we put a song on. No, well, I know what it is, well, but you can't you just say that. Well, is it when? In, is in. it okay? Is it when your dad put a kid in the wheelie bin because <laughs> yeah. he was getting out of hand? Yeah. So we're going to be going. We can't go through it again. It's too controversial. We're going to. What's the name? No, the thing is right. You were just saying about what. Are you about Christmas? <laughs> That's the funny thing, right? Because in our house, there's no one who's religious, right? No. no. My dad got annoyed when <laughs> I went to church that day. He was like, "What are you doing that for?" Of course. I went to see a gig in Liverpool. Remember the band, the Christians? Yeah. He thought I'd join some club. Yeah. I said I've been to see the Christians. He was saying to me, "Man, what, what's he doing going out with them?" Yeah. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> the other thing is, because I'm not christened or anything, my mum used to say to me, "Don't tell anyone that." Because there's witches and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I want it. I want to go back and see his upbringing. I really, yeah. I just want to go back and see him at seven. One day, one day in the life of Carl, just, eight, seven. Just to have three just ghosts it. visit him tonight. <laughs> And take him back through time. <laughs> but uh, we could go with him. We go with him. Well, we can meet some of the ghosts. Yeah, so the I ghosts like Christmas past. Oh, remember this? That's, um, that's oh. incredible. Because so, there's so, the witches that don't tell so, what, just say she thought, so she wasn't Christmas, but she thought maybe someone could take your soul because well, you weren't Christmas. It's like, uh, <laughs> there's, there's cults and that, isn't there? And if they find out you're not christened, then. Right. So I don't think they care. I don't think a lot yeah. of cults care. Well, but, but what can they do if you're if if you're not Christian? I don't, I don't know. What, I just said all right because then through that time there must have been a time when. But hold on, now they know. Yeah, but I'm older now, so I'm all right. She used to worry about me playing out on the street. Oh, she was that. worried about when you were naive and stupid and easily led. Well, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> good point. No, you're right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Good. Rockbusters. Well, Rockbusters. Well, tell the prizes, Steve. Yeah, tell we have Christmas gifts. This is Christmas, Christmas gifts. gifts. I don't know if you'll receive them in time to actually pass them off as gifts. I uh, wonder if I can tell that, um, uh, Ross Noble story that he told us. I don't know. We'll have to Was discuss it? that when the record's playing. Okay. Right. Um, okay, so you heard a track from it just then. It's the XFM Christmas album. I think that's been knocking around here in the office for years, hasn't it, Carl? Um, or is it new this year? It was brought out about two years ago, okay. but Christmas is... songs are 
Christmas songs, Christmas songs. songs. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got bands on there like the Dandy Warhols, The Web Brothers are on there, Drugstore, Ben and Sebastian, Flaming Lips, all sorts. So we've got that to give away. We've also got this, um, Smashing Pumpkins compilation, which we seem, again, we, that seems to be knocking around for weeks. Another one of those 50 years of the greatest hit singles, I don't know, Culture Club's on there, Queen, obviously. I've just Lennon. seen the cult film. Yeah, uh, the, com the cult film will come back to you shortly. This, I think, is one of the most exciting gifts. If you have a video <laughs> player, and you want to get trimmed, then surely Big Brother 3 champion Kate Lawler and her cardio combat video, mm. in which I think she uses kind of, I don't know, military <coughs> boxing training to get you trim and taught and sure. looking as good as her, then you can get that as well. We've also got, uh, a exclusive seven-inch single from the White Stripes, a kind of Christmas single. Is that from them? Yeah, yeah. That must be quite rare. That's probably That's the only quite thing good. That's right, that is worth something. And, um, awesome. the current Badly Drawn Boy album, Have You Fed the Fish, which well, that, I that, think that, is slightly that, mediocre. That, that, they've gone up, actually. I think that the, the level of prices there has gone up. Not a bad selection, but here is the big movie. And actually, I have to say, this is not a bad one. It's, no, it's, it's not, uh, again, it's not, not terrible at all. It, it could be worse. It's, uh, James Cann in the original Rollable, not the disastrous remake that came out no. recently, but, uh, the DVD version of Rollable. So that's there as well. So, something fairly interesting. That's gets, worth yeah. winning. Right, come on then. Selection. Let's do Rockbuster. Well, will we play a song to give people time to get a pen and paper and that? Yeah. Yeah. So, we're doing it next. Yeah. Uh, Carl Pilkington, the man of the moment with his rockbusters coming your way with all those great prizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, are we, uh, we're yeah. doing it now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I noticed Heat magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done. I've cleverly tweaked them to make them Christmassy. Oh so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with with it whatsoever, but I just thought <laughs> So you mean yeah. the clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah. But but, but, but it's nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer. Right. So why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll I'll ring a bell, I'll yeah. shake some bell. I'll go see if I've of that but in sort of speech. Right. Brilliant. So the first yeah. one, um there's a load of letters uh there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and uh, have a good Christmas. Give it, give it to us again. <laughs> oh God! Right. So there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and have a good Christmas. Right, right, but bear in mind, people, that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these clips. No, it's got nothing to do with it. I don't want to, Okay. You know, and the initial letter is F, right? That's F. All right. Right, the Next second one. one. <laughs> uh, ask your mum if you should. After you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should, after you've wrapped the presents. That's, um, <laughs> that's S. 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 All right. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> 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 oh, that's probably what brought it on. So that's, oh. that's B. Right? Oh. B. B. Oh, God. So they're the, they're the three. Will I just, uh, recap? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I so, have no idea. So I can't even, one. I don't know what to start thinking. I, well. Right, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one, ask your mum if you should. After you write the prison. S. And the last one, a couple of people were arguing arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. It's busy because it's Christmas. That's a B. Yeah. So they're the three things. It's email only, this one. Uh, please remember that. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Mm. Uh, Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Brilliant. Carl so looks happy with them. He yeah, looks really happy with them. So they're All cracking. Right, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Please so. All right. right. Is there going to be more rock, rock buses in the new year? We're not sure. Um. I'm, I'm not still, you know, thinking about new ideas <laughs> that we can do. Okay. Um, are we starting Ricky Ridiculous today? Have you done Couldn't anything? be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. Right, couldn't be out. Right. Look forward to Ricky Ridiculous. Well, he's worried about, he nearly said asked and he just stopped. Cause he's yeah, worried, well, cause he's the producer. Yeah, well, I've got a set of standards. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you have, mate. <laughs> you have. So that, that's that. We've still got to come, uh... Oh, I'll tell you what, why don't we have, um, a lovely tune, yeah. right? You make the tea, we're opening these biscuits from Alexandra, yeah. we'll be enjoying that, right? Maybe segue so we can have a nice little, you know, rest, I don't want to talk through it, it'd be rude. And then c we're coming back, and as part of, like, Pilkington, Parkinson, <laughs> and do we need them, 
Do we need them? <laughs> yeah. Carl has interviewed an expert on, on jellyfish. Fish. Brilliant. So we've got that. Plus, of course, we've got two part, a uh, two part educating Ricky. You've got educating Ricky still to come. With a Christmas uh, theme or not? Um. And we've still got no. things like the Pogues, John Lennon, Joni Mitchell, just uh, uh, David Bowie. Are you, are you suggesting there's going to be some great music and some great fun chat? Great music and some fun chat. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, good. We've got our little biscuits, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, good We're loving it, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, um, I, th I think I can just sum up the station, can't I, Steve, without just la last comment? <laughs> I think comment. you're probably right. Uh, I just came in, I just sort of went to the toilet there, and, uh, um, uh, it's a disabled toilet that's close to it. So, uh, you know, you go there, I had a wee, I thought, oh, the thing doesn't work, didn't flush. I came back and said, oh, the, the toilet doesn't work, doesn't flush. And, uh, Carl went, no, you just stick your hand down and pull the, that wire up at the... <laughs> Think of that. Put your hand in the water. I mean, just when, da when, water. when David Bowie uh, interviewed Zoe, um, come on, yeah, uh, there's a toilet small flush. She goes, all right, baby, just stick your hand down, pop the shit down the uh, down the U bend, and just wipe your hands on your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank thanks very much. <laughs> I mean, oh. Sums up this station, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Tin pot. Have you ever done this? This is one of my most embarrassing moments. Is co you know, because sometimes you'll see. You'll I mean, see. What? Hey? Well, I, you'll, you'll realise what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened, Rick, was I, I almost leapt to the end of the story. <laughs> right. But I realised I had to go back a few steps. Yeah. I just right. don't know if you ever cut. Well, and you stop. <laughs> it was going to be coming. But it, but you'll understand in a minute when I finish the story okay. that it's not coming in the traditional sense. Oh, all right, because it also it's followed by coming out of. Oh, sure. All right, yeah. So and not your trousers. <laughs> oh, my trousers. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. So um, now awkward moment. And I should just you know if you're Christmas shopping, maybe you're in a big department store, mm. and um, you see the disabled toilet, and you think to yourself, I can nip in there, I can use that, you know, because mm. it's close to hand, because I've got to wander miles for the regular toilets. I went in there once in the toilet, you know, did a disabled toilet, just snuck in. Came out, disabled person. Furious. That was, but it's really awkward. Because oh. it's like, because it is like it's their sort of private domain. You know, it's like, it's like they're part of an exclusive club. They've not got many perks in life, and that's one of them. And here I was, <laughs> you know, kind of, kind of exploiting it. But they can't, well, yeah, I suppose they can be annoyed. But, but it just did, look did you do affect a limp? I do you know, I normally do. <laughs> I often do. I often, I've, I've affected a limp many times. Oh. Um, uh, like, for instance, yeah, if I take the lift in a building when it's only one flight of stairs, right, and they know, and I get up on the first floor, I always affect a limp coming out, <laughs> so that justifies why I haven't come up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is it that I'm scared is gonna sort of <laughs> say something? Yeah. But, uh, Oh dear, that's, that's It's great. the same thing as if someone asks me for directions, I always pretend I'm foreign. I always go, I don't, uh... Why do you do that? I can't, I, cos I'm just terrified of giving them the wrong directions and well, then... just now, I don't know, I don't live from I it. don't like, cos I'm sort of, you know, I feel bad. Cos what I used to sort of give directions cos I like giving directions, I like helping people out. But then I realised I didn't really know... You, hang, you used to hang around going, you alright? Yeah, we're <laughs> fine, yeah. Do you wanna know where to go? I tend to have a go even if I don't know. Exactly. But it's, I'm always terrified they'll come back and find you and go, you led us yeah. astray. Yeah. So I, now I just affect a foreign accent. <laughs> there's, there's, a fellow, you know. there's a fellow the other day, about two weeks ago when I was walking in, Little old woman, little old fella, come up to me and said, uh, where's, uh, Wimpole Street? So I said, uh, oh, I do know it. So I think it's over there. And then, I'm not very good with street names, but I'm good that if you say, oh, there's a boot on it. Right. Do you know what I mean? If there's something near it, I'm, it's like the same with directions when I, when I used to drive a lot. Yeah, or historical facts. I didn't, I don't know, like, old motorway names, you no. know, like, M, uh, M this and M that. Mm. I can never remember that, but my dad used to always say, right, there's a horse in the field, turn right, and yeah. stuff like that. Good stuff, yeah. Um, and it's the same with this fella, he sort of said, you know, <laughs> where's, where's Wimpole Street? And I said, well, what are you after? And he said, no, I'm after some blood. And exactly. it was a blood. Blood. Yeah, there's doctors around there, isn't they? So I was like, oh. So that didn't help me. What do you mean he was after some blood? He said, oh, I need some blood. He must have had was an illness. Was he No, he just must have had, needed some new blood or something. He had some illness. And I was like, you know, I could, if, if, if Why didn't he go to the pet shop and get some power? No, but- like He that. didn't have fangs and a cape, did he? <laughs> yeah. No, but do you know what I mean? Oh, that, that didn't help me out. But- What if he said, well, some pile cream, actually? Can you- You go, oh, we, we want boots then? Yeah. I would, he would've been alright. But I didn't know where to start with that. I need some blood. Yeah, That's I just it's over there. Yeah, it's, it's sort of pointed in my way. But so he was, he was <laughs> losing consciousness. <laughs> you sent him the wrong way. <laughs> He's dragging himself <laughs> along the pavement. <laughs> Is there blood this way? <laughs> oh. The gash is growing ever deeper. Well, oh. we've got to, uh, we've got to do, uh, Pilkington, haven't we? Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, we should explain this, I think. Well, it's this, it's Carl's new idea for, yeah. um, a TV show. <laughs> he wants to do, uh, a TV show called Do We Need Him, where he goes round 
and uh, he talks to experts like David Attenborough, uh, da David Bellamy, maybe Lenny Henry doing David Bellamy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if he can't get the real one. Um, and uh, he just picks on an animal that he doesn't really like, doesn't think you need him, and an expert will tell him, uh, if we do, if this is the first instalment. Let, let me put a song on, right? Now we've got them and then I can set it up okay. and stuff and tell, you know, because explain it, fully. explain it and that. Let's do a classic, let's do a big stomp in one of the best Christmas songs of all time, shall we? What are you thinking? Fairy Tale in New York. Excellent. Oh, it's always a Home featuring Christian McCall on XFM 104.9, the Christmas edition. Indeed. Next week, we've had loads of just suggestions, Carl, for, for your best bits. It's basically all your best bits. Me and Steve are largely irrelevant in the in the voting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you can compile y your best bits next week and they'll be loving it. We've we had a request for the the uh, little Chinese fellow in his pants, a horse in the house, cutting your hair on the railway, railway station. If I mean, if you haven't heard those stories, <laughs> they, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> the little Chinaman in your pants, you've got to be tuning in next week to find out what that is. The only thing <laughs> is, the old uh, horse in the house was in the last best of. Was it? Yeah. Well, that that doesn't stop. What's his name? If you're one of those people that want <laughs> yeah. to see these clips again, yeah, tune in. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be right. Christmas. It'll be all right so. on the night. Eighty-four. Yeah. yeah. Someone kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to live forever. <laughs> well, it's like we said before. Who goes to the recording of one of those? <laughs> <laughs> all the people in the audience. Yeah. Aren't there? That'd people be great. Actually, yeah. Tickets for it'll be all right on the night. And they laugh at his jokes, but I mean, I I don't know. I what think the how many are. takes it. You know, I mean, oh, how long yeah. it takes to record that. The, the, the show's about three hours, so the recording must be about nine. Have you uh, ever seen Kirsty's home videos on Sky I One? I think so. I think it's, so. Uh, it's do Gallagher. dogs falling down slides. It's like, yeah, it's like you've yeah, been framed, but falling it's, over in a wedding. It's got audience laughter, but I'm assuming it can't be a real audience. I'm assuming it must be like no, the they just, they, they've, they've lifted. Laughter. They've just lifted it from the Flintstones. Yeah, <laughs> they laughed from the Flintstones. Well, yeah. we forget that the Flintstones had an audience. <laughs> if you if you <laughs> watch the Flintstones, there's laughter when Fred does something funny. Yeah, <laughs> the idea of people should be shipped in. But we were talking about. A cartoon. I like the idea that some jokes weren't as funny <laughs> as exactly. others. Like the director going, "We'll put a laugh on that," and the producer going, "It's not as funny." I well, think Dino should, not get funny. Dino should get a round of applause every time he comes in. He, everyone loves him. The kids love him. Well, he's well, 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 we're making it up. Yeah, yeah. and oh. Barney getting disgruntled because his jokes never get <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like wise. Exactly. Yeah, he's really wise. Okay, anyway, Carl, so here we go. It's, oh. a, it's an exciting feature that will, I, I think, will be picked up by Channel 5. Uh, it's going to be Carl Pilkington, Do We Need Him, where Carl goes around checking out animals with uh, top experts asking whether we need them in the world. Yeah. So. Um, we st yeah, this is the first one. We won't do it next week, but I'm already sorting out the contact. We will be looking at octopus, because they're a bit weird. Okay. So <laughs> that's, that's what you got to look forward to in two, oh, you know, in, you know, three. Again, if you have an animal that you <coughs> feel is unnecessary in the world, then email us, and I'm yeah. sure Carl will investigate for you. Well, yeah. the other thing as well, whilst we're on to that, I want to sort of have a better research with me. So when I speak to the, like, the bloke or the woman about the octopus, right, um, I want, like, You want to be response. armed with the facts. Well, sort of response from listeners, so I can say, well, 70% of XFM listeners said we should get rid of them. Sure. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like John Snow does on Channel 4 when he does all, like, <laughs> politics, politics stuff. Yeah. So, if you agree with me, just send an email mm. saying yes. Well, so, 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 yes, we should get rid of them. Yes, yeah. Or yes, get rid of them. Because you're, you're, you're always, you're, the house believes always we should get rid of these animals. That's, you're picking animals you want to get rid of. So, yes is get rid of them. No is... Don't get rid of well, them. Well, and not no, it's Noah, because they go on the ark. The ones we keep go on the ark. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> element I'd completely forgotten about, and I think that's a wise move, because <laughs> I don't think that's working. I don't think you've thought through the whole Noah. So, and that's just complicating in the show, I think. So, so yes, yes, we get rid of them. Noah, they're <laughs> saved on the ark. Yeah. Right, okay, right, so lovely. here we go then. Jellyfish. So, we, uh, we today them? we're looking at jellyfish in Pilkington. <laughs> Talking to uh, to Vicky, who works in an aquarium in in Anglesey, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Right, brilliant. Uh, today we want to find out if we really need jellyfish. I've got a bit of a problem with them anyway, because because I've been I've been stung by one, and I've done a little bit of research into them. So I'll tell you what I know about them. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you might learn some stuff from me. Oh, well, you never know. And if I'm talking nonsense, just just tell me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right. So first of all, they don't have eyes, do they? 
No, they don't. Right, no. so I'm right with that. Uh, no lungs. No lungs. They haven't got a heart. No hearts, heartless. And they're made up of like 97% water. Yes, they are. So, they're pretty useless, really. Well, they have got a nervous system. Um, they're actually about 650 million years old. So they, they've evolved and they've outlived the dinosaurs and they're even older than the sharks. And they can even outfox us. Um, because NASA scientists have worked with them to try and work out how they um, operate in weightlessness, and they still don't know how they do that. Took them into space actually to figure out how that they did how they did that. Seems like a bit of a waste of money, but yeah. um, do you know Port Maddock? I used to go there a lot for my holidays, and there used to be a load of them washed up on the beach. Uh, People on motorbikes used to go over them and stuff. Yeah. But, well, we get the ge the moon jellyfish. That's the ones with the. They've got pink bits in the middle. Yeah, that's they're, their they're, reproductive body. I think, that, I think that was them. I think they're the ones who went over on the bike because you could yeah. see pink bits. What what do they do? If the jellyfish went, would would we have a problem on our hands? Do you think? Okay, um, you might have a bit of a knock on effect because um, things like turtles eat um, jellyfish. Yeah, but do we need turtles? Uh, well, don't forget that when you take out one, when you take out something from the marine system, mm. something normally feeds on. I mean, they're not just there for the fun of it. Something either feeds on it or feeds on what they excrete. Um, what you're saying is they exist to sort of feed others and also to eat some stuff that's Well, yeah, same. they control the population of other fish and species that might otherwise be a problem. Okay, well, let's, let's kind of wrap this up, right? Um, the question that, that I'm asking today is do we need them? Say if, say if um, Noah... Yeah. ...had his ark... <laughs> right, you're, you know, you've swam and got on the boat, you're all right, you're safe, it's going to keep you to sort of populate the world as well, right, so it's you and him. Uh-huh. He's not a bad-looking fella, so, so you're happy. Yeah. Um, he says to you, Vicky, uh, do we need him? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know why she even gave you that interview. <laughs> when you start off with, right, you know, trying to find out if I need you, but what did you tell her to get her to talk to you? Just, uh, just said I'm doing some research on stuff. Uh, did she think you were a schoolboy or something? No, she just, she just said, oh, all right. She said, you know, how long will it go on? It's not long, just like five minutes, have a quick chat. And she was, she was, loved it, didn't she? She sounded happy to take part in that. So, the fact I love the fact that you've got an expert and you, you suggest that she's going to be having sex with Noah. <laughs> He's a good fella, so you're happy. She goes, yeah. I mean, I don't know why you stopped there. I didn't go into <laughs> positions or something. I, I, I can't be- The problem I, is, really, I didn't get to the bottom what, of what I wanted to say because- Oh, no, you did. That's it. That's, uh, that's done I've, now. I've that's, that's a, a pretty good minutes. academic work. That's proved, yeah. No, but the turtle thing, you know, when she said, oh, if you get rid of them, the turtles, you know, won't have anything to eat. But when she said that, I mean, I couldn't say it because it would have took her off and confused her. But well, like, she's a scientist; she's easily confused. Well, say yeah. like when when Suzanne is working, right? <laughs> I'm not a very good cook, so I always get like an Indian in. Right? What <laughs> to do the cooking for you? <laughs> <laughs> so, right, I'll have an Indian. Right now, say if for some reason it closed, I'd get a Chinese. <laughs> So why, why don't the turtle just, there's loads of stuff in the sea, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't want to get too heavy on her, but, <laughs> That uh, is pretty deep. <laughs> oh, that is genius. But we'll look at, uh, But so the fact that she said, yes, you need, uh, you need jellyfish, yeah. does that mean that you've changed your, I mean, what I'm saying is, does her answer go? Does that stand? Yeah, it does, yeah. It does, does it? It does, yeah. Whatever that, I, I get the expert to say, I try and get them in a corner. Right, <laughs> you try and, yeah, argue yeah. them into a corner. Argue them into a corner, but that time she wasn't having any of it, so we've got to carry on having them. Yeah. So in, right. in, in, in the new year, we'll be looking at octopus. Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah, great. Let's Brilliant. play some feeder. <laughs> Christmas. I think there's often- Carl with his Victoria Plum. I want to see a Victoria Plum. I want to know what it is. Is it-, is it like, does it look like a little gnome? It's- it's a- it's a woman gnome. A female gnome? Yeah. A little gnome. Well, and- yeah. Um, and uh, did your mum collect gnomes? She likes anything gnomes. She likes fairies. She likes, uh, Indians. 
She collects all that stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what <laughs> it is. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like a proper Indian with all the ad gear on. Oh, Native American. Native American. Yeah, yeah. She likes anything with them on. Like, you know, it can be a fridge magnet. <laughs> it can be, uh, Yeah. Just, just A lot of Native American wisdom is, is around the fridge magnet because they yeah. think it has special powers of adhesion. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, that's, you, you read some of their, their, their <laughs> the writings, works, yeah. the great works. <laughs> um, now, uh, <laughs> it reminds me, talking of gnomes, um, he said to me in the week, he went, oh, did you see that program on telly last night about dwarves and fellas without legs nicking cars? <laughs> and I went, no. He went, oh, it's amazing, right, because they haven't got legs and that. They scoot along and they can nip into a car like the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> Explain more, Carl. <laughs> no, you see, I didn't see it, someone else told me about it. Oh! That's what I said to you. I said, did you see it? Because I missed it. And it's about these, <laughs> these little fellas, um, who, uh, specialise in car nicking. <laughs> and the thing I wanted to know is, because this lad who sort of watched it, only watched half of it. Is he like said, you? Well, I said, I can understand how it's easy to get in, but then how do you get away? Because you can't reach the pedals. Yeah. Can there be two of them? But presumably he opens yeah, the car for someone else. Good, is it? What do you mean? What, so he's steering and he's like, right, press the brake a bit. And then there's, then there's one that's just legs, but without the top half. I don't understand <laughs> how this helps them, though. What are they, what, why are they, why does this make it easier for them to Because they cars? can just get through the window really quickly, like in the Dukes of Hazzard. What? Because <laughs> their legs don't get in the way. Right. Do they just run? And just... But what do you mean, with? the wind, I mean, what, so someone's driving along... No, I didn't see it. And this leaves the I'm window open. You. I didn't, I didn't see it. Do they it. leap in when there's someone still driving the car? I don't know. Well, there's too many things left unanswered here. I well, can't go over Christmas and not there. Well, someone's seen it and email in. But that's sort of... Miss Panic to you anyway, I imagine. <laughs> I bet you were gutted you missed that programme, weren't you? Well, I would have, I'm interested in stuff like that. Because <laughs> I like learning, which gets us on to educating Richard. <laughs> oh, excellent. Slick. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a good year of stuff. Teaching we have stuff. Well. Yeah, I've learned uh, a lot. Can you remember any of the Of course I can. There was a deaf girl and she hit her head and she could hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was also... Um, some people who ate tomato sort of poisonous on lead. There was also a fella who, a doctor who gave a blood transfusion, um, with some parrots from the pet store. Yep. Um, <laughs> cos, uh, the doctor in America, and it was the olden days, when the lines were bad, said, give him his parents' blood, and the doctor this side thought said, give him some parrots' blood. So that was true, <laughs> and that educated me. That was fact. What have you got for us? Well, we've only got two, because I've taught you about jellyfish today, that yep. we need them, so we've only got two, two things to go at, and the, uh, the, I give them a little headline so you remember them, to make them snappy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. the two headlines you've got, oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. and the second one is, well, You'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? You'd think it beat. No, you'd think it'd be. Yeah. You'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? Bughead. 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 Uh, th this can't be. Th if this is anything with a, a bug living without a head, I'm not interested. Because we've done it. All you've right, done well is let's, fun. Let's just do oh, what a cat. <laughs> so is that? Is well, do that one first. One. Which do one? Which one are we no, doing? No, do the bughead one. Right. Well, the bug. <laughs> The bughead one. Uh, well, we've, we've talked a, a lot about animals and that, haven't we, without heads? <laughs> <laughs> no, Surprisingly, we have. <laughs> I think a disproportionate amount on it. <laughs> if you're a new listener, this is the first time you've listened, you'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, we've done all that. We've done, we've covered, uh, worms, the way if you cut their head off it grows back if you don't <laughs> cut too, too high above its neck. <laughs> <laughs> we've covered, <laughs> The chicken. Um, the fella who blinked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can't go into it again. Right, let's not go into it again. Ah! We've had, um, the chicken with no head that lived yeah. for eight months. Yeah, And we've had, and we've cockroaches. had the cockroaches living for a week without an egg. Right, right. okay. Well, it's, it's a bit more on the, on the cockroach front, really. Right. Um, they've found, right, that if you get a cockroach yeah. and you cut its head off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you find a cockroach that's still got its head, but it hasn't got any legs. Right. Right? It's not over for both of them. Right? Because what you can do, you get the one that's got the legs, right, with no head, yeah. sort of running around, get the one with the head, uh -huh. sit it on top of it, right, get a little tube, <laughs> okay, so that the fluid. So is this is this aunt is go out of the Let room? This is like Blue Peter. Let him you can get you can get this for Christmas. Right, you yeah. get a little tube, you sit that on top, so the bodily fluids are still running between the two. Right. The head 
of the one on the top will control the feet of the one on the bottom. Okay. What about that? Good. And, uh, will it continue to live? Um, yeah. Okay, you don't know that for sure, do you? <laughs> that, that was just a, that was just no, a question out of the blue he wasn't expecting. That, yeah. what, what do you think of that? It's good, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's just a primitive nervous system that can, yeah. Yeah. Do you, did you expect us to be more impressed and excited by that? Well, did you fall off your chair when you read that? <laughs> <laughs> did you, like, did you think you were going to be the Frankenstein of the insect world? Yeah. No, I just was thinking if they can do that, you know, with, with them, can with they do with humans? Because humans. Yeah. I, I also did a bit of research. Of course, on you did. did you ever? Did you, did you come to the um, sort of conclusion that apart from the moral aspect of it, well, that the human was probably more complicated than? Yeah, but do you know what I mean? Things things move on, don't they? Do you know Modern what I mean? science, Rick. You know, I had, I had Benetone as a kid. Now they've got PlayStation 2 and the difference in ten years They is have amazing. found that if, if you lose your head, a cockroach can live normally on your body, but not the other way around. Your head on its cannot control its legs because it's yeah. too complicated it's for too your confusing. brain. Uh, so, uh, it, yeah. Well, so then, then other research, uh, cos I thought if you don't learn from that, I'll give you something else for free, right? One. Um, <laughs> free. that they, uh, can clone people. Uh-huh. The only reason they don't do it, right? Say if like Ricky needed uh, a lung, right? They could clone you and make you the same. But the only reason they don't want to do it is because it, it'd be a bit horrible, wouldn't it? So and, <laughs> and, and it would ta and it would take sort of eighteen years for me to get an adult lung. And there's all kinds of moral implications. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? You hadn't thought so, of that. So, sorry, so, cos- uh, lest, lest we forget, Rick, <laughs> he ended with the only reason they don't do it is cos it's a bit horrible and that. <laughs> 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 Which scientist said that? <laughs> right, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a that quote. Right. Well, that's not, that's not it. That's not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, 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 no. That was that was just you know. We've got another one to come. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. The, the headline again. What was the headline? The again? headline. Oh, what a cat toe stuffy. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Mark. Yeah, a bit more kind of talk. This is from his um, covers album, which is called Snowbird. <laughs> He's so happy that the XMM listeners understand his stupid clues, and he knows it annoys me. We've well, got some right answers. We'll be giving out the answers just quickly, just in case. Uh, Someone sort of missed one of them, I'll just quickly do them, yeah? Yeah, go on. First one, there's a load sure of letters. Show. <laughs> there's a load of letters there asking for advice, put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Uh, ask your mum if you should. Oh, and Merry Christmas. And, uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket. It at was the Christmas, and that's why. Counter. And that's B. Okay, we'll give those answers out shortly. Yeah. I just have to show you something, Rick, before we move on. I know we've got another uh, educating Ricky, but uh, someone just sent this in. Yeah. They've been looking on eBay yeah. for Victoria Plum. You're joking. Come here and see the photograph. Oh, God, that's fantastic. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. That's it. Oh, God, he's got that for his mum. <laughs> it's the worst piece of tat I've ever oh, seen. Oh, Carl! Yeah, oh, Carl. Imagine how. Oh, Gutted. Carl. Imagine how. Look, think of him now, right? Because there it is. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I tell you, it, it looks like a Diddy man gone wrong. It's it looks like a Diddy man prostitute. <laughs> that is. That's a, is that the one card? Well, that, well, it was a different colour. Had a yellow at mine. <laughs> no, but look, how do they get telling them? Okay, get, so um, going to eBay. So you need to uh, to log on to eBay.co.uk. I'm sure you've used it before. It's the uh, online marketplace eBay.co.uk. And if you type in Victoria Plum, I'm assuming that you can yeah, track yeah, this. That's day. amazing. It's the worst piece of rubbish. Oh, just I've think ever seen. how cute he was as a kid, though, doing that. Just think of him, just going, <laughs> just, that just, was, just, just seeing that and it. thinking, oh, I like <laughs> he likes gnomes. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what her prize collection of gnomes looks like, but I can't imagine. They're much better than that. I mean, gnomes are a fairly oh. grotesque thing. Yeah. But oh. certainly, your mum's taste and discretion is, is. Did you have any? Did you have a, those houses on your estate? You'd go in there, and it was just loads of those dolls still in their packaging all around the room, and sort of like one of those homes that ought to keep the uh, sort of packaging on the three-piece suite. Why don't you buy another one for her for Christmas? Yeah, it's, just... it's three ninety-nine. It looks like that's, that's <laughs> two pounds forty-nine because that was three ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buy it, Carl. Because no, I've got her, I've sorted out her passport this year anyway. I'll get her that next year. Right, <laughs> so listen, right? right? Okay. So, <laughs> last educating Ricky of the oh, year. Oh, Christ. Um, what a cat toast. Yeah, let's do that then. Right. <laughs> Victoria Plum. There's this woman, right? 
<laughs> yeah. This woman, she's reading, uh, Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. And, um, she- she's flicking through. Yeah. And she notices that there's a world record for a cat, right, with, uh, twenty-seven, uh, toes. Right? <laughs> so she reads it and she thinks, well, that's not right. Cause her cat's got twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean her cat's got twenty-eight? Her cat- uh, her cat's got twenty-eight toes. So she was like, well, hang on a minute, mine should be in there. So there was oh, like- I missed the very beginning of this. She- she was- she- 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 and, uh, she said, yeah, yeah, you know, she, it, it's great, and it, it's, it's really good in the snow. <laughs> right. It gets through a lot of nail varnish. Well, yeah, that's, that's what it said, right? It said it's really good in the snow. So, I just was thinking, uh, I mean, that's it, really. That's, that's not it. That's the end of that story. But Brilliant. What but what I'm thinking is, right, It was she, two cats welded together. No, she, she said, uh, you know, it's happy. So, is the other sort of disabilities where... In a way, it's not all bad. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know, like, that book Steve brought in for me? And yeah. there was a fella there, wasn't there, who had three legs, who was a juggler. <laughs> and I was like, what's the point of that? <laughs> what do you mean, what's the point of that? What's the point well, of what? he's not taking advantage of having three legs, is he, being a juggler? <laughs> he said he should be a footballer. Right? So... <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but in a way, he's used it, hasn't he? He's probably not even that good at juggling. But, because he's got three legs, people have gone, well, I'll give him a chance. Let's go and see him anyway, see if he's any good. Yeah. Right? So, what I'm thinking is, is there anything else? We've mentioned, uh, the, the midgets today who are good at robbing cars. Uh-huh. Because they can get through the windows like Dukes of Isaac. Sorry, sorry, so listen, listen. I, I'm, look, um, I'd just like to say, this is the Radio Authority listening, we are in no way suggesting that one, uh, midget's forte in life is robbing cars, no, or no, that no, if you're no. a midget sitting at home feeling sorry for something, you should go out robbing cars. I no. just like to say, this is oh. Carl Pilkington talking. No, the no, no, views no. of Carl Pilkington do not necessarily reflect those of XFM <laughs> or us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was a TV program, so it's not me, I'm just saying what I've seen on TV. That you didn't see? That somebody told me about. Yeah, so you could be wrong, just like a lot no, of your spurious facts no. you just see on the internet. You well, know. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, is there anything else? We've seen the fellow with the three legs. So what you're saying is, is there a disability that is actually an advantage? Yeah. Right, I mean, okay. He, Steve mentioned about the disabled Lou. They're always really roomy and, like, got multi-gym facilities <laughs> in them. <laughs> multi-gym facilities! Oh, no, Multi-gym facilities! What do you mean, Carl? There's always bars everywhere and that, isn't there? That's not parallel bars. Yeah, That's they don't do gymnastics! Up. What, what are you working yeah, out? But I'm just, I'm just saying though, do you know what I mean? So in a way, they've, they've got that. So, always, what I'm saying is, when you look on the brighter side, <laughs> it's like Elephant Man would have never got up and gone, oh, look at me hair today. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do you. No, but, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He, he, he would never have that problem. You're a maniac. Forget it. I thought no. we'd be able to like, get a serious discussion going here. <laughs> well, okay then. So, this is a serious discussion, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's treat it sensitively then. If you really want a serious discussion and talk about whether there are some disabilities that aren't advantage, let, let, let's, let's, let's think of some then, shall we? Well, I've, I've said three already. Yeah. You can't say, um, uh, uh if you're deaf, um, uh, Bobby Davro won't annoy you. That doesn't count as an advantage. Do you understand? Do you know what I mean? Carl's looking at you thinking, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll leave it then. <laughs> I'll come up with a better feature for next year. Oh. We'll, we'll bin that, we'll bin that. <laughs> oh, so, God. So you've got any disabilities. We'll bin that like that was gonna be a feature. <laughs> what, you were hoping that that would be a spin-off feature? Disabilities well, are actually well, an advantage. another form of, do we need them? It's like, But that's, know, Carl, think of it, it's like, the, it's like that joke. A bloke that, as he wakes up in hospital, says, good news and bad news. Bad news is we've had to amputate both legs. What's the good news? The fellow in the next bed wants to buy his slippers. See, that's not an advantage. Mm. It's a joke. That doesn't really happen. People don't go, oh, that is good news. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get a quid for him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but the fellow with three feet, what would he do? Well, he'd buy a pair and then just nick one of those because they put out one shoe, don't they? Are those, um, yeah, if you've got one leg, you can nick shoes. Mm. Good point, right, Carl. Now, now I'm getting you thinking. Yeah. Right, so we'll do Rockbuster's answers next then. Happy Christmas, war's over and all that. Indeed. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant tune.
Gritching and well, I've, had, I've had a great time. I've had a great time. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope we haven't offended you by some of Carl's rantings. Just think, just, just think of what he's gone through in his life. The right. Victoria Plum incident. Carl, I've got a little gift for you here before we go. Oh, you say, okay, uh, I haven't got you anything. Well, no, I don't, you haven't got your girlfriend anything. I wasn't expecting much. It's not, it's, it's not, uh, exciting, but it's worth taking. In fact, you could, why don't you just re-gift that straight away? It's all right, cheers for that. Cham yeah. It doesn't even look at it. Champagne, yeah. champagne, champagne. Yeah. champagne. Yeah, that's not the champagne we got free from the BBC, is it? It's not actually, no, Rick, because, um, that is far too good for the likes of Carl. Oh, right. And I wasn't gonna give it to you, you wouldn't appreciate it, that's just sparkling wine. Oh, brilliant, oh, I love that. Yeah, he won't, he doesn't know the difference. Um, um, I'm seeing Carl on Christmas Day, because, uh, he's around Christmas Day in London, so I'll, I'll, I'll get a little gift then, Carl. All right. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice little... Okay, answers. We must give the answers. You would have to go to bed at six, though, so right. we can play. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was I F. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice. So that's a foreigner. I that is shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. That <laughs> may be Christmas, that is absolute dark. A lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well, well that annoys me even well. more. Number the two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S. That was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. Now we've got a lot of people saying smashing pumpkins. There's the answer to that. <laughs> well, I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum. <laughs> smashing Thanks pumpkins. Thanks very much. Nice bollocks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. That's great. Right. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> your dad bought them for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And the last one. Um, <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> what my Victorians? <laughs> oh God! Right, we've got to wrap oh. it up. We've got to wrap it up. Come on then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B. That was banana drama. Who were like having an argument. What do you mean banana drama? drama? <laughs> what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So. You're a fool. You're a twat. <laughs> well, you say that, but you accuse her, you accuse Carl of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers, uh, of London. And she wins those great prizes, and she got them bang on, so. Banana so drama. Can, so, can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what do you mean? What do you mean, can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? No, we're, what are you talking about? We're going to play Jamie Nichols. Jamie Nichols. We're going to play that then. Goodness, we've got. Oh, look at you. We haven't got time. Merry Christmas, Carl. Merry Christmas, Carl. Enjoy the show. Let's give him a little kiss. Oh, a little kiss. Oh, no, I get tongues. With tongues, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Carl. 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 Carl Pilgrim in the chair now. The um, oh, the talked about, the acclaimed, educating Ricky. Right. Well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't normally mm. listen. Yeah. Um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in the week, find stuff, news, history, anything that's interesting. Um, three stories. I give them a nice little headline. You take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're going to learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, Cream. we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, Chicken You Believe It. <laughs> chicken You Believe It. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to go for Hippopotter News. The news? The news? Yeah. The news. Right, well this one, it's, uh, uh, I'm not going to take the credit here, I heard Christian talking about this on breakfast, right, because it's a good, good, uh, good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but, um... <laughs> oh, I think you did! Right, I it? know what it is! I know what this <laughs> okay, is! I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus, I'm loving it already. circus going on somewhere, I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right? Uh, little midget, uh, circus, really <laughs> packed out show, people are loving it. Um, 
<laughs> Steve, you'll ask the same question I did, I know. So, um, so there's little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's what I said, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Say good money to see it. So everyone, everyone's clapping and he's getting carried away. Because um, <laughs> he can't believe he's that. He can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was it was getting out of hand. <laughs> But he was jumping and he was coming down the road going, hi, yeah, and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's, he's doing this, crowd are clapping, there's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh, right, I thought he was in the audience. So he's a ventriloquist. What do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because it's why is he sitting in the dressing room and they go five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss. Five minutes, Mr. Moss. So anyway, right? <laughs> so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed because this because the midget's he's going. How can I follow well, this? How yeah. can I? This is really thing. annoying. They're going to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. no. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking, he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never gonna work. <laughs> yeah, go on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story and I just know he embellishes it or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going mad, the midget's mad loving it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows he's dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi, hi, hi. It gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline, goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out. Hypotenuse! Hypotenuse! Sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Ooh, dear. Hippo's there, swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. I but mean, no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo. Eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on. Going, come on! The midget flew off at hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> this yeah. is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippopotamus, I was thinking actually, what to happen? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I mean, it is it that 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 you should never put those three together? <laughs> never. It's it's a recipe for disaster. Everyone textbook. knows that. Midget trampoline, it Thomas. <laughs> Are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you was... know when he told me it, he said, and the midget. He didn't. He didn't mention the Thomas. <laughs> and he said the midget went on like, and soon he fell off, and the hippo ate him. <laughs> and I said, sorry. What was the hippo doing there? He went, <laughs> it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. <laughs> no, what do hippos do? What can they do? You can't drain them, can you? <laughs> what do you, what do you aren't they, like, very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither claim. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 no, you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of, where Zippo was eating a midget and it's it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely, I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's definitely fact. Yeah, okay, right, truth. okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, Number 4.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, uh, with me Stephen Merger. Uh, it's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails, so here's the clips that you wanted. We, we, me and Carl went out, right? Um, and, uh, with, um, me and Jane, Carl and Johnny and Gigi, wasn't it? Gigi? Uh, is it important to win? No. Okay. But we're walking down the street. Carl was there though, and he can back me up on this. Um, we had a curry, we're walking back, and uh, this little funny homeless fella, didn't he? Mm. He, uh, oh, I've got to tell it before, before I go, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 uh, he came up to me, right? And he recognised it. Um, and he came up to me and he went, he went, oh, he said, I've just nicked five of your DVDs from HMV. <laughs> and he shook my hand. He was so happy with it, and I went, right, excellent. He went, all I do is I just swing the bag over the top. Like that <laughs> when, when I'm going out, and he had a bag full of DVDs, didn't he? And what? he was he was so pleased to tell me that he'd stolen <laughs> that great. He said, that he said they're going like hot cakes. <laughs> he said they're going like, of course they are. Yeah, you're <laughs> looking them. Yeah. I know we get paid for them, though, don't we? So we not the stolen ones, don't we? No. What do you mean? Did you sign them for him? <laughs> I knew you were you idiot. <laughs> what? So um, he just nicked five. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he was homeless, was he? Well, I, I, I don't know, maybe. No. 
surely how would he have seen the show? He just walked past Curry's one, one, one Dixon's. morning. Yeah, yeah that's the only idea. Seen a trailer for it, thought, mm, interesting. I don't know if he was homeless, I, did, I didn't go into his home sure. life. But, he shook his hand though and... But he's, he made Carl look smart, do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, uh... Yeah. How does he sell them? Where does he sell them? Does he go to people and go, do you want an office DVD? They're not nicked. <laughs> Four quid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are they stolen? No. No, 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 no. They've still got the tags on them. Well, yeah. it's like those people who, um, you know, those cab drivers that you'll meet at sort of three in the morning who've just got a car yeah. and just went out with a car. Yeah. And just, I'll, I'll, I'll pick people up and charge them. Yeah. I got in one once, I said to him, uh, the guy just pulled up, I said, uh, he said, I was in, like, uh, East London, I'm going back to, uh, North London. I said, uh, yeah, going to, uh, Swiss Cottage. He went, sure, hop in. <laughs> we set off, he went, do you know the way? <laughs> I said, well, not really, no. I, th I thought you'd know the way. You're in a cabbie, aren't you? He went, no, I don't really know the way there. I, don't, I, said, I said, have you got an A to Z? He went, no. I thought, well, if you're going to go out just on the, you know, just winging it as a cab driver, yeah. two things, take a map and a torch. He didn't know yeah. either. He said, uh, well, I'll probably get to Camden. I said, well, I'll direct you from there. Drove on for about five minutes, making conversation. In fact, five minutes later, he went, do you know the way to Camden? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew the way to Canada. I don't really know the way. I thought it was. <laughs> oh, it was loot. And let me out. You know, Four yeah, quid. Exactly. And that's. I, I can't. I don't know who's got that sort of time on their hands that they just think it's three in the morning. I'm, I'm at a loose end. Mm. I think I'll go out doing a bit of cabbing. Well, yeah. Because your dad was a cabbie, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, couldn't stand it, but it's, it's good money. He was the prof He wasn't like a chancellor. What cab, was? What cab. was he? What was he doing when he put that little Forrest Gump in a in a weedy bin? That was uh, that was part of the cab company thing. They had to do like a charity event once a year, and he did it one year. Never asked him again. Tell us the story again. I'd, I'd, no, I'd rather not. Cause Why? Because we, we got a few sort of uh, complaints about it. Why? Why do you get complaints about it? Because. It's because he put a kid in a bin, and it's not the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but we could use it as a sort of sobering lesson for people. <laughs> yeah, tell it like a, tell it like a, you know, don't, yeah. you shouldn't do it. No, it's, it's, I, yeah, but that's how I did it last time, but people still didn't like it. All the stuff I tell you, I don't, you know, we don't take the mickey out of people on purpose. No. We, it's real life, isn't it? And mm. that goes on in life. Yeah. I, mean, I, I was saying that in hospital, though. Do you know I was in hospital? Yeah. You know, he did some jokes about old people and that, and he said, at the end of the day, if something makes you laugh, it's funny. Do you know what I mean? Know. So, what are you meant to do? <laughs> and yeah. laughing's good for you. Yeah. So, even But being laughed at isn't as good for you, is it? No, but there's probably more people laughing at one person, so if you balance it out, <laughs> there's only one person who's upset and there's a bunch of people laughing. <laughs> so, it's... it's <laughs> That's genius! Give me an example of that, give me an example. Well, for instance, Carl Pilkington as he talks and the people listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, give me an example of like, so, uh, uh, you know... I can't, well, I can't because again, that's what I'm saying. I can't tell you the story because yeah. there might be someone out there who met this person might even be listening and think I forgot about that, and you brought it all back to me. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> yeah. So I, I prefer to leave it, but I think people know. Why did he put him in the bin in the first place? Because he was getting out of hand. What was he doing though? You see, I can't explain. He can't. Don't be silly. I prefer to to leave it honestly. What What, what was he doing? Was he annoying him? He was annoying my dad and the other people in the cab. Right. And he thought, how can I deal with this mm -hmm. before it gets too out of hand? Yeah. He pulled over and put the lad in a wheelie bin. I'm gonna pass. So we'll, we'll leave that. <laughs> <laughs> FM 104.9. Uh, Ricky and I are on holiday. Obviously, it's Christmas time, but Carl is here in the studio. He's pressing buttons. All right, Carl? All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of the first genetically modified baby? Oh. Are you worried about do these? You, do you know what, what did they do? What? Let me see what it says here. It well, says, isn't it uh, just choosing, uh, ju choosing the, you know, eye colour? Well, this, or, is the, or this, is the, this is the concern, isn't it? That in the future you'll be able to decide uh, whether it's a boy or a girl, what, how intelligent it is, what it looks like, is it handsome, is it ugly? Obviously no one will choose an ugly baby, and so on and so on and so on. And so it means that, you know, wh where will it lead? Where will it end, Carl? Are you concerned? I've thought about this a lot. What will us three look like in the future? I mean, if listen. they're being, you know, genetically modified beautiful people, what will be, we be like? How will we be considered in That's society? True, yeah. Well, we've talked about this before, haven't we? About, uh, the cloning thing. Yeah. That's a bit weird. Yeah. But, um, I don't think it matters because at the end of the day, right, you might look like some other kid, but it's the way you've brought, that you brought up that will change your features and the way you are, you know, your personality. If you lie, you get a long nose, don't you? Well, no, but listen, right, because I remember 
when when we you know I was growing up on this estate. This is going to be good. Go on. No, no, it's not. It's just a, an example of how this doesn't work. Go yeah, on. So we don't need to worry, sort of thing. Sure. Right? Okay. So I'm growing up on this estate, and there's a there's this woman about four houses down, right? It's a bit rough. <laughs> All right. Didn't fancy her. Oh God, no. Right, but she had a Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. What it, was she? It was a very- She looked like a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What but, did she look like? But anyone can- Tattoos? Clean up. Look like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which, even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did they get a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Must have. Has you seen horse in it? No. <laughs> what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with the bit of um, oh, that's great. I Did Big out. Jake come and look <laughs> for it? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, sorry, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he get a um, horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? His mum said, Where'd you get that from? I bought it. Alright then. But <laughs> keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin rustling. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just... And how long did he have it for? In Was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door! I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop it! <laughs> open the patio door as well, I'll be. Looks like we got us a runaway! <laughs> Why do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think he had to... a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's so... always to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room next door. It's not buying it; it's keeping it as well. Oh, well, so, I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, okay. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper, just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is genius! <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record, let's play a record and come back to this, because the story's gonna just unravel and unravel. It's getting on for hours. Let's play a track, Carl. It gets deeper and deeper, it's like an onion, isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. I come from the West Country, I've never heard anything like that. I just think of a big, sort of, like, orange carpet and a rediffusion telly and this horse going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is really... I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, the God. classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pot. <laughs> what do you mean? Velvet oh. Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Lou Reed, the Velvet Underground, and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So, we were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and uh, we got on to. Uh, um, we got on to genetically, uh, genetically modified babies, but and then somehow. Carl started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got on to. He was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was. Because you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the, yeah. the mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's well, relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but you- But well, what I'm on. trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand- What, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a- and no disrespect to her. Bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be Paul. Does she have any tats? Does she have any tats? I've never got that close to her. Okay, alright. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from I don't know where. There was a- I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they- they kept the horse in the house with- them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they didn't have caught? it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse No, no, what happened was, I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity. Right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to, to raise money. And they came out with all these ideas and I thought, that's good. What was the charity? But forget, well, I don't know. I thought, forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a charity good money here. making over so, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some, uh, she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? 
and uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups and uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Certainly. Yeah, so loads. Did, they, did you just cut- you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they want to survive. Oh. But I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. So it's a bit rough. So, as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so they've they, they been feeding me kitty cat. Yeah. So I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything, because- I always say that about animals. Black Beauty right? was on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay, or in like a house with a you know, three piece suite and sure. a telly and that? Telly and that! No, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was walking through London. Coming off 64, yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And you know, like homeless people always have dogs. And yeah. she said, oh, I hope, I hope she looks after her. I said, they've got- that dog is happier than most dogs. Right. Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open, it's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't I mean, eat, but other than that- <laughs> No, it does eat though, they're always alright. So that's what I was saying, I think this horse- was- was doing all right for yeah. itself. Do you know? Yeah. Well, not many horses have got their own house. Exactly. For a start, yeah. But anyway, that's- that's- wh That's what by the by. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, this family, who's a bit- wh what were we talking about? It was about- Genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff, yeah. Right. Now, what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right, Steve, you could have a baby, mm -hmm. right? And Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? It could happen, Rick. <laughs> So- Come on, work with him. So you take it to your doctors, and I don't know what they do, they, they inject it with something or whatever. Yep, that's how yeah. it's done. Yeah. And, uh, get a little baby, and there it is, it looks the same. Now the thing is, you separate, you both go off and do your own things. Yep. Right? Yeah. Now, you look at Steve, Stephen, this is, you look after your baby. Yeah. You treat it well, you give it good food and I'm that. a good dad. All the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ricky just gives it cheese. <laughs> right? So, then it changes its looks, it goes a bit fat. You know, it gets tired easily, and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, when this family- <laughs> Why am I just feeding a baby cheese? <laughs> right? This, this, um, this, this, this family had a horse in the, in, you know, in their, in their house. Yeah. They had a, a little baby. And my mum went round and said, you're not gonna believe this, but it's a beautiful looking baby. Right? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know. And, uh, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, they didn't really look after it. And I'm not saying like abusing it, but he used to run around, he used to play out till like 10 at night. Yeah. Uh, he used to chase cars. <laughs> right. It was a bit- <laughs> Did it have hooves? <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> Chase cars! Right. What sort of kid chases cars? <laughs> oh god, no. was it called Rover? Did it cut sticks? It's Liam it was called, right? Right. Now, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, and all that like, not eating properly and its hair was all patchy. <laughs> it's not Liam Gallagher, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and chasing cars on that, and it became an ugly kid. <laughs> it's definitely Liam Gallagher. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? You can uh, clone, you can clone all you like, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. what you brought up. Brilliant. Wow. Wow. <laughs> life. wow. That was a hell of a point. Oh, God. <laughs> but am I right? Uh, you're always right, Carl. <laughs> I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves moves on this uh, this week. Oh, you're moving yeah. Oh, by the way. Uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the, uh, food on and table. Did they? Were they happy with it? Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. Would mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, innit, getting- getting people round. I imagine they were scared. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they- I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean- you know, You're Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I- uh, the- the fellas sort of- I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. Anyway, 
Anyway, no, uh, they, were, they were nice. They were and nice. you're moving now. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Will uh, he? He, said, he said Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> And the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, and I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone. He sounded about 90. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't think that he's gonna have to do all the work. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, <laughs> right, we, well, it, it seems he's to be cheap. He wanted some Werther originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen, <laughs> it seems to be cheap because it's £50 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but how long is it gonna take him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so genius! When, when's the move on, then? When's the end? Oh, he's coming ra- he came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> 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 so, uh, oh, it, it actually oh. happens on Wednesday. Oh, God. Anyway. I woke up this morning, yeah. Feeling fine. It's not a blues song. And, uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I forget it. it. I've made my yeah, mind. Yeah, I went, Carl, what is it? He went, oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went, well, what, what was it? I just got this text. He went, ah, oh. oh, I was just wondering. I was lost thinking last night. He said, supposing you had to have your hands removed. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 and the doctor said, well, you can either. Have them stay like that with stumps, or I can sew feet there. <laughs> what would you have? <laughs> and I was bleary eyed, and I went, the stumps. He went, yeah. <laughs> I went, all right. He went, yeah. <laughs> and then and what that, was his follow up text to that? And then I got the text that was obviously before it, and it went, and it was like quite serious. What, what would you do if Sue's not doing your hands? Would you have stumps or the feet? Right now, the way uh, when I said he's made his mind up, and I went the stumps, he went, yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> There's a little, little bit of what would you do? Because it's. It, but why did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's away, right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start <laughs> thinking bizarre surgery I'll, I'll tell you devices. Now, right, I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night, I um, <laughs> I had some beans on toast, right? <laughs> She was away. It's good already. Right. She was away. She had some beans on toast. She went wild. Yeah. Right. Now I was stood up. I live on like a on a high street, right? So I'm, I'm washing up. I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is I can I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on. I was watching them, and everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it, and it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book, and she's always reading a book every night, and it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's a, there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night yeah. with all the black on. He looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on, I thought... Did you witness a murder while you were doing it? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up and I picked up the plate and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The, the human body. The way you can just sort of, you know, I want to pick that up and you do. Yes. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah, You've got five yeah. little digits, yeah. but it's, it's just the right amount to do <laughs> what you, yeah. to do what you've got to do, right? <laughs> so. So I'm, I'm washing, I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl! Stop! It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this about the evolution of the mammalian front, uh, limb? Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount. It? <laughs> but it is. It one, is. One of extra course it would is. get in the way. Yeah. And one less would just make it a little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, buy, <laughs> or buying gloves. <laughs> yeah. A slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. uh, imagine like going to the doctors and they're saying, yeah, everything's alright, your heart's good and everything, but... <laughs> your heart's good? What, your Larry's or...? Yeah, your heart, your heart, your heart yeah. you're, you're in good form and what sure. have you. It's good news, you know, I had Giano in earlier, he's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, fastball, though. But yeah. you're, you're all right, but your hands need to come off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Blimey. But, That's bad. Like, I get a second opinion initially. <laughs> But I bet a good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, <laughs> washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> I thought... Steve! I, that'd be tricky. Yeah. And then the second thing was, it'd probably ruin the, the, sort of the shape of your jumper. Because <laughs> you have to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. <laughs> you could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd was, be like, you'd be really yeah. fast. Well, well, that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance, and then I thought, but the only thing is, I probably couldn't pull the brakes <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. because of little short things. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you, I thought, but then again, you'd run in in half time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Sure. Did you? Did you? How long did this take? <laughs> Well, how long does it take to wash up? Right. Because I imagine you just being there for, like, all night. <laughs> Probably 25 minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He's always doing it. Last night he was at it for, like, 10 minutes. Just, yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you, you dance in pants again, I go in next yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. All the time, yeah, it's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing, it's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants, the old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think she ever goes- Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> 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 Every time you look down there, she's just flicking through it, she's just reading this book. The pages never turn. <laughs> she never seems to finish it. Oh, she never are moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's cats going- Her are dead around I, her. I, I, I'm going into the next door again, that little yeah. round headed fella's smell. looking in. He's looking in at me, the bouncer goes, don't worry love, I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's true. always getting ready. That's true there. They, s- they see you staring at him, watching him going, I could have feet here, and they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead. <laughs> oh, dear. Carl, can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in, so so it's, that we know? It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Imagine if that little d- was he a Chinese fellow? Did you say? Yeah. Imagine if he was listening now, I'd love him to call in and explain these actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, do we have this doctor? This doctor that would go, well, all right, Carl, I've got, you can either leave him the stumps or I've got every little pair of feet. Why, uh, I, I mean, I t- told Jane this and Jane went, is that the only choice? Is he, could he say I could have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any, have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have, can I have, what would you rather have then? Human feet or monkey paws? Well, I mean, that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said- No, it wasn't is... an option last night, but don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but is... I'm just saying at the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head, you can go anywhere. No, 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 it wasn't a real doctor to offer. It's in your head, you can go anywhere. <laughs> You're not trapped. Yeah, but if you can do anything, then you'd say we'll sort us out some other hands. <laughs> fair point, the fair <laughs> record. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're listening to the best of, basically, Carl Pilkington. Right, you ready then? So, uh, just in case, uh, you haven't heard it before, I give you some initials of a band or an artist. We're not doing rock buses now, are we? Yeah, I thought, well, we'll just- Oh, we we'll keep that going, then we got- well, I, I love educating Ricky, that's my favourite thing now. Well, what, what do you want to do, Steve? Oh, let's see the clues. It's just, it's just, it's just that you've, it, it's, it's sort of bigged up the prizes. And, and so, this be... is only by email. Give the email address out now for people to write it down now, Carl. Right, it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. ricky.gervais right. at xfm.co.uk. Only entries on email. Yeah. You're going to get three clues, you've got to get them all right. And you win all the You stuff. win all those prizes you said. Okay, Carl, go on then. Right, and just a quick example, uh, the f- one of the first ones we did, it was like AK and the clue was exploding pet. Yeah. And it was a- atomic, atomic kitten, kitten, right? Yeah. So you understand how it works now. These right. are your clues. The first one, um, <laughs> That army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> that army has got some well nice trenches. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and the initials there are D W. Do you write okay. some of the questions for fifteen to one? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So that army has got, got some a similar well phrasing. Nice trenches. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second one. Um, what were the initials there, Carl? On that person. D D W. D W. Yeah. Right. Uh, the second one. The top of them curtains are all wrecked. All the materials all worn. <laughs> 
He has to have though. We've got to get him on telly. We have got to oh, get him on yeah. telly because his little face and his so his gestures. That's and the second one. The initials being H V. Okay, the top oh! of those curtains are wrecked. All the materials are all worn out. Right, H V. And the final one, um, <laughs> here's the final clue, um, I was in Texas the other week, right? <laughs> I tripped and landed on my knees in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the initials? W-H for that one, so I was in Texas, I tripped up, landed on my knees in a puddle. So that's W-H. Incredible. <laughs> He's got it! Is it right. great? It's fantastic! It's best Okay, time to join the record. Time to join the record. Okay. You're playing for uh, these okay. uh, compilation albums. We've got the Fat Boy Slim DVD, Linda Green oh. on VHS. And of course, uh, <laughs> Executive Decision, starring Kurt Russell as well. <laughs> okay, 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant. We're not actually here. Um, it's the best of. Okay, what's the next yeah. one? What's the ne Educating well, Ricky? I don't know, uh... See, like I say, I was lo looking around and this stuff that is interesting. I, I was looking on the web But there's no point. Well, it's just that I found one about, uh... Um, What's the point? About a lad who, uh, eight years old, yeah. but he's still breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if you can get anything out of that. <laughs> Is that what his mum said? <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you mean? I don't know if I can get anything out of that. You don't need to. No, it's, it's just that. You know, Where did you read that? That was on the internet. Right? Oh, well, yeah. Um, You're always unspecific, unspecific when you mention it. It's just it was on the internet. Well, yeah. I'm trying to think what I put in. I think I put in Y to see if I'd confuse the computer. Ah! <laughs> 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 Go! Then, you are. No, I did, I did it, a, no, honestly. I, I did a search, put in why, and I ca he came up with funny things that, like, why d is this person doing that? Why is that? And it had a picture of this eight year old lad, sort of, you know, <laughs> on his mum's nipple. And, um, it was saying, you know, is, is, is this healthy? <laughs> Ooh. Mm. You sure that wasn't asking you that question? <laughs> Uh, what, you, I put in why? Just to confuse the computer. Like, we'll go, what do you mean? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, look, uh, yeah. Last week, uh, I was walking, um, uh, home with him, and I went, uh, I got a, he was saying something stupid, and I went, I've got a competition for next week. Let's do a phone in, and it's called Carl Pilkington, genius or fool. Yeah. Right? And he went, no. No. I went, why not? He went, well, uh, it'd be confusing because they say there's no difference between genius and being a fool. <laughs> <laughs> they do, though, don't they? No, that's, that no, no, that. but it's rubbish and people say there's a fine line between madness and genius and, uh, you know, it's a ridiculous soundbite. Uh, they don't say there's a fine line between a genius and an idiot. Well, the people who do are idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, what would you do there, though, just to sort of wrap that little thing up? What would you do? That lad loves his mum's... his mum's milk. What are you ta what are you asking me to come up with? <laughs> no, I'm a just... A title <laughs> for the, the story... No, 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 it's what? just, it's just what would you do? Right. What do you I mean, what would I do? Well, it's causing a bit of a problem in the area. Right. What area? In, in America, I think it was. Oh, America, a problem, are they? George Bush is worried about this kid well, who's no, breastfeeding right. at eight. Imagine it like this. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Carl, what are you asking me about this spurious story you saw on the internet? I saw on the internet this yeah. eight year old lad, he likes his mum's milk, yeah. and he's saying, Is this right? Should it no, be? No, it's not. On? But what, 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 <laughs> what do you want Ricky to do about it? It's not his responsibility. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but, but the little town that he lives in, they're all yeah. causing an uproar, right? <laughs> Going, this isn't right, you know, no. I can't let my kid play out in case he's in the garden with his mum getting a bit hungry, right? Yeah. So, oh, God. what should they do? Because his mum's saying, well, he likes it. Yeah. And he, you know, what, so what do you do? I don't know the laws. No, but I'm not asking you to sort out the laws, I'm just saying, if you lived in that neighbourhood, what yeah. would you say, if you went up to him and said, look, everyone's getting a bit fed up with this, look. I'd say, what, 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 what would I do? What do you mean, what would I do? <laughs> what, what are you asking me? <laughs> right, it doesn't matter. No, 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 what are you asking me? What are you asking me and Steve and no, the I'm public? I'm just saying, say if you live next door to this woman. Yeah. Right? The kid's hungry, eight years old, he's out playing on his bike and he goes, Mum, I'm getting a bit peckish and he goes, all right, son. She whops one out. <laughs> 
um, and he starts having his having his milk. Right? <laughs> you live you live next door. You put in your washing out, and you see this going on. <laughs> you're getting a bit sick of it because it's gone on for months. <laughs> Eight so, years, I see. Why is it your business? Just why are you? Why are you such a nosy neighbour that you're concerned? What would you do, Carl? Let's turn it back on him. Yeah. What would you do? What's your solution? What would you do? Well, I thought I'd say, right? Why are you doing this? And she'd say, um, because he likes it. And I go, all right then. Put it in a bowl first. <laughs> Genius. So and you think that would sort that out? No, because I, I was thinking about the whole thing, right? And. You do that when you're a baby, and everything's all right, innit? Yeah, yeah. No one bats an eyelid at sure. a little baby having, having a bit of milk from its mum's breast, right. right? Yeah. You'd almost say it was natural. But you grow out of it. <laughs> it's like, you don't see. It got me thinking about things you don't see, and you don't see... <laughs> Did you put this into a computer? Show me things you don't see. What else no. don't you see? Well, you don't see, like, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> <laughs> you never... <laughs> Oh, so what? Um, <laughs> you, know the, you know the terrible thing about all this, Steve, is he's right. You don't see No, I know that's the but, terrible but, thing. So what they have got, right, they've made old man's toffees, haven't they? They've come up with all <laughs> is, is that a song? Oh, oh, God. You don't see enough <laughs> So they've got their worthers, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> You think you're giving a lecture yeah, at Oxford? It's, it's not going anywhere. No, go on, sorry. Go on. I'm what? just saying. Right. You grow out of things. Yeah. And the old man, I'm sure when he was a kid, he'd have a twit. <laughs> yeah. But now it doesn't look right, so he's having. <laughs> it doesn't look right! So. Right. I don't think Werther's originals were especially designed for old people. I think they were sweets that just happened to have been made for years. Mm. That's why old people eat them. Yeah. They didn't go, hang on, there's a market here. I've <laughs> noticed old people aren't eating Twixes. Quick, let's make some yeah. old man sweets. But the, the, the little yeah. advert, he gives it to his grandson as well, doesn't he? He goes, I'll have a Werther's original. No, I so, think it, it cuts though before he throws it back in his face and <laughs> get, get me a Twix. <laughs> You've been voting in all week, send your emails. So here's the clips that you wanted. You've got a real problem with Rick Waller, haven't you? I just- and it's, I, it, he, he, he turns my stomach. I know, but don't- Because he's arrogant that. as well, exactly. though. Exactly. That's the problem. Don't, don't explain to people that- No, he know, is a bit arrogant. His, it's his, it's his old thing that you, it's the whole package, so yeah. to speak, that you don't Well, like. there's another thing in this quote, because, uh, it's he's not just the fact that he eats too much. He, uh, he, he tried, apparently, to lose some weight, and, uh, it says, he said, the first month I lost eleven pounds, the next I lost a stone, but in the third my body did somersaults and I put on nine pounds. I had a slip-up. Mm. I can't say when, why, or how, but it just sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't That's believe like, it just sneaked that, up on me. That him. body's never done a somersault no. in its life. No. It just, uh, sneaked, just sneaked up, up on him. Yeah. I, 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 it that. was the cakes again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same old <laughs> cakes as before. It was exactly the same sleep, sleep eating. Yeah. It's called. It was the KFC bucket again. Oh, it was a family oh, sized KFC bucket oh, for breakfast. Dear. Poor man. The other thing is that the, uh, I don't think that's a very good shock tactic for a doctor to tell a twenty-something. Well, to be honest, you've got twenty years to live. Yeah. That's not. You know, know, when 20. I was twenty, the thought of dying at forty was fine. Yeah. I didn't want to live to forty. Yeah. I just thought, oh, what can you do when you're forty? Yeah. Just laying around <laughs> doing nothing, <laughs> eating, eating cheese. cheese. And then you got there, <laughs> and you discovered. <laughs> no, but someone sent me something. Um, Sophie here sent me something, and she said, I, I realise you're not Graham Norton, but I had to send you this. And she sent me the top of a little cream cheesy thing. It's, it's the brand name is Gervais. How oh, that is? Have you been. They've named a cheese after I think, you. It, I think it's a big French company, and this is from the Czech Republic. It's all over Europe, and so it, that so would be a dream come true, wouldn't it? If they named a cheese after no, you. No, I think it's. I think it's uh, probably you know ancestors, and so I've cheeses in my blood. Sure, quite it literally. literally is. Yeah, yeah. It, another it, heavy Friday it, night, was it? It, 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 it comes out of pores like those play doh things. Yeah. I can squeeze out different shapes. Jane, like, bring the Stilton in. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this man, isn't fried. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so um, we can't really have a go at Rick Waller. I, 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 I eat too much, but, but I, you, yeah, I, but I, you're I not big. And then one of the other contestants on that on the uh, Fat Club, oh, yeah, Fat Club is uh, another one is Jono, Jono Coleman. Oh, we love Jono. Now Jono, he's, he, I don't know, you know Jono, he's oh. that guy who does, um, he used to be on TV and I think he does a breakfast show on a rival station, doesn't he? He's happy, isn't he? He's, he's so true, and he's a really nice bloke, Jono. It's but funny because he does a breakfast show on Heart, which is, is wrecking his own. There's a bit of irony. Oh, I love Claire. 
Thanks, Carl. Is that I, mean? yeah, I, love no, you. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's good. But we've met John a couple of times. We saw him at a couple of, not wishing to say not uh, to show off, but a couple of awards dues. Yeah. Like that's showing off. But like people would be dead there. Well, yeah, but yeah. we <laughs> we went to one where everyone was in like tuxedos oh, or yeah. suits and ties. Not John O. John O was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts. Big Bermuda and a shorts. Hawaiian Hawaiian shirt. Bermuda shorts with just these little. But I saw him again Time another time and he had shorts on at yeah. a similar event and I've seen him since in the street and he's all- I don't think- I'm wondering if he can wear trousers. I don't think he can actually wear trousers. I don't know if there's a medical reason for that, whether he's just- his no, legs I, are too fat. I think the material is a waste of money. I think it's just yeah. that you can get shorts that big and they're comfortable and uh- you know, why do, I mean, to be quite honest, well, why, I don't want to squeeze into a tuxedo anyway. Mm. So, uh, if you can go, I'd love to turn up those things in Bermuda shorts. Well, of course. Flip flops. You know, but do you think he started off by wearing, maybe he just had the upper half was a tuxedo with the tie and, and then the thing, shorts And the shorts up. underneath and he would just have to come in to kind of sneak behind, you know, a, a sideboard. Potted plant. Or a potted plant. Or his kids, bring his kids ahead of him. Yeah. You know, you are wearing clothes, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah in you yeah. go, in you go. Kids move a bit. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, of course I'm wearing clothes. Why would I? wear in trousers. And then you just thought, oh, this isn't fooling yeah. anyone. So uh, now I'm going to make a wacky effort to sort of, you know. The next zone is, I've heard he's going in a grass skirt and a mm. garland around his, and he's yeah. going to come in limboing. But you you did ask if you could go to the BAFTAs in a dressing game, didn't you? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, right, is this talking about diets and stuff, right? Go on. They've come up with a drug that, um, they, they tested it out on a mouse, right? They said, they said, you know, it's a problem that weight weight is a big issue in the world, and you know, a lot of people are depressed, and that probably like Rick Waller. Well, right? I'm depressed. Look at Rick Waller. Well, you know. Oh. I mean, you could you could sort out Rick by you know, John O is an old man. He's got loads of money. He's not old. No, but he's getting on a bit, right? He's about. No, my hang on a minute. What I mean is, he does his own shopping, right? So I bet it's sorry. Hard. What do you mean? Because he's like, uh, how old is he? Thirty-five. Right, oh, he's yeah, got loads man. of money, he does his own shopping, so when he yeah. goes to the supermarket and he passes, you know, the, the sponge cake section, it must be tough when you've got loads of money to burn, like you go, oh, just one more. Yeah. One more. No, uh, so just, sorry, we are getting close to libel here, I think. No, 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 <laughs> I'm saying how it is, because I've, right. I've tried, like, losing a little bit of weight. Have you? And it is difficult when you, you know, you're in Waitrose and you see a little chocolate muffin and you think, oh, <laughs> one more and I'll do without... Do you like a little chocolate muffin now and well, again? Yeah, right. Is that your favourite thing? So uh, the thing a chocolate is, and let him finish his point. So the thing <laughs> is, right, now with Rick, he lives at home with his mum, so why doesn't his mum just say, I'm gonna buy less this week, and if you eat it all, you're not getting any more? Yeah. <laughs> That, that sort that Does out. he live a short, man. sharp shop? I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you don't actually know if this is true or not? <laughs> no, but, but anyway, right? So this, this drug they've come up with... <laughs> they've tested this on mice, haven't they? They've tested it. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm worried if they haven't tested it on mice. Yeah, thank enough. God for that. Yeah, it's definitely been tested on mice. Definitely. They, they fed a mouse a load of cake. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> and it went a little bit chubby and he said, right, stop a minute. And then they gave it this drug yeah. that makes you lose weight. Yeah. <gasps> and it, its weight went down, but the only bad so side effect was its eyes were popping out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems, that seems to be fine then. <laughs> Let's give it to Jono. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any problem. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's Rick should get some of that. Yes, truth, Doc, look at these. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, John, your eyes are popping out. That happened to the mice. Mm. Sorry? That happened to the mice? Mm. Well, what what would you do? do you mean? That's the option. But, like what do you mean that's the option? So, so, I love the fact that your choice is either being like a fat, happy man who has the odd sponge cake, or a stick man with eyes on stalks. I mean, <laughs> Steve's chosen that. All right, calm down. Oh, I thought we were slagging off Rick Waller sorry, and fat mate. people. Sorry, mate. Let's have a go at the fat people before yeah, we start on me, Rick. Really. Yeah, no, I didn't. I thought, yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got some issues, even body issues. I you know. know. But they, I mean, Rick Waller's grotesque, you know. Yeah, sorry about I'm that. just a little bit weird. I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah, should we play a song? Well, I'm just a little bit offended. All right, XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Bilmington, not here. Uh, it's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails. So here's the clips that you wanted. So let's take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's, what's the story? Right, so I did some research. Right. Let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I'm blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off so to show the brain that life, can still, or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So you, you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no, nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. 
um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outen at that Jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember where it was, and they said, right, <laughs> that we're, was terrible. we're yeah. gonna, uh, we're gonna cut your head off, um, you oh. know, you gotta, you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this, <laughs> the 1970s? <laughs> well, what you said a couple years ago, you mean maybe sort of... Was it the old days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. yeah. Ages ago, so. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when you watch Nears Could Career. Off. <laughs> this was <laughs> literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, and even before that, which is young, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carl, go on. So he's having his head cut off, and he's, but no, he's resigned to it. It's the day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without the head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> who were? So, the jailers? Whoever he was. The rats. The jailers with one eye. Yeah. 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 So he said, no, <laughs> wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So um, let's. He do didn't a test. draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said let, let's 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 test this out. You know, he okay. said do us a favour. He said you know it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is you're gonna cut my head off. Let's put a white line on the floor, right? And see if you know, because there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah. really count That's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. <laughs> you guess it, go on. So, uh, <laughs> They got Norris McWhorter there. <laughs> <laughs> the giddy people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, Let's get this white line. Yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this tomorrow. He said, "All right, yeah. I'll see you in the morning." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Night, night. Sleep tight. <laughs> bye, bye. Uh, I love the fact that God knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order is it yeah. or when he was exactly what was said. Is what, but he knows the interview. <laughs> all right then. See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. Oh, I'm not. I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. <laughs> Don't let the bed bugs work. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm all right. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got, I've got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. Got <laughs> used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, are you ready then? And he said, I go on. And he cut his head off and the body walked 32 steps without <laughs> a head. Wow. 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the white, it walked along the white line, did yeah, it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit, and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When, when you've lost your head. Absolute <laughs> twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what, what do you reckon you can do, then, without an head? <laughs> how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would, yeah. You could not distinctly take 32 steps. Mm -hmm. The body could... Well, don't... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's the doctor sit on the line. Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots. Yeah. And, uh... You know, you could have got 32 steps. Right, so you don't believe that. Doing a bit of line dancing. Right, you don't believe that. For something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect to uh, human <laughs> is is, the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that difference. There's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So? You're making out as if like, they're a totally different, like, species. <laughs> I am. I am making that. I mean, call Rick, me old fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? Though? I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the the cockroach is is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives. 
It lives by its head. Because a lot of it's on, uh, 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 some of them are phototropic, chemotropic, some of them just literally have, uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's, it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot of that anyway. All this is running around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing that. And the body's still going, no, I remember, I think I remember what I was gonna do here. Yeah, so I'm gonna carefully walk 32 line. steps along this white line. I'm basically just good looking, I'm going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head is in the corner going, left, <laughs> yeah. left, you, <laughs> left, oh, he's not, <laughs> Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if if, if anyone listening has uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a hor horrendous car accident, <laughs> where they got up, maybe they they went for a walk, uh, they you know they they, they had a little chat. Oh dear, Carl. get in touch. You know, oh, you, Carl, you, know, you, you you are my favourite being. You are my favourite species. Now, you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you are Why can cockroaches do that? Why are you ever made them? Get when? Let's play a record. Do you know what? Like, when I told him this fact, I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live nine days without his head. Mm. He texted back, "What's the point of that?" Yeah. What's the point? Of They're that? not doing experiments. These cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> 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 and he went, and on top of all that, you're thirsty. <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, <laughs> isn't it? That week without your head. It's XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Jermaine, with me Stephen Merch. Hello. Uh, you're listening to the best of, basically, Carl Bilkington. <laughs> Carl's all flustered, because there isn't a, a record set up, but he's getting all tizzy. He's been more worried about his competitions and sorting out putting records on ready. Uh, what? I'm off to start Steve's song for love. Well, I'll tell you what, you, uh, why didn't you carry on with your, uh, educating Ricky section? I'll have a look on the, uh, on the screen. We'll keep right. it going, Steve. Yeah, you go on. Through. Go on then, right, okay. We've right. had, we've had a, a few emails. Uh, anyone got it right, Carl? Anyone um, got it right? Um, Ricky, educating Ricky, that's the final one. We've got to get that out of the way. We've got to get Rockbuster as well, we then. Can do that at the end. We can go on then. But we've only got five minutes left. Come on, just do educating Ricky. Right. God. The, uh, the last one that we haven't done right. is um, he's a bit of a nuisance. Go on then. Um, again, not, not really, not really that interesting. Thanks. Um, no, like, again, I talked about him in the week and he had much better things, like when I tell you about Brian Blessed climbing Everest and for some reason it made him, uh, it, uh played havoc with his belly and what? he followed through and he had to clean up. Shut with, himself. Yeah, using, um, Using ice and so Why are you telling? Why are you telling me that Brian Blessed? What? Wh in what way is telling me that Brian Blessed shit himself once in any way educational? Because I was saying how he was climbing Everest, right? Right. I'll give it to him. He's an actor and that, but he, he gave that a go. Yeah. Right. It played. What's the know, point of that? You'd say, wouldn't you? You'd say, God, it, he's, he's, you know. He's oh, good. so he's all right. Uh, me, me doing a boxing match for no reason is rubbish, but him climbing Everest and shitting himself yeah, is, is commendable. Right, and he's only gonna, like, go and do it again. He's gonna climb it again. Yeah, but he might not shit himself this time. Yeah, but what's the point in going? Nothing's changed up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could probably, yeah, it could, Well, it has. They've probably, uh, they've uh, probably right. cleared out by now. Right, but, uh, <laughs> it, it's slip on it. I can't believe I'm just telling you this one, cause- Come on! To just do it, or do it now! Steve, how are we doing? <laughs> Look, no, no, never mind that. Look, just tell me what that means. Uh, oh, he's a nuisance. Oh, this is so annoying, Carl. I'm gonna go mental. Right, talk. Right, right listen, I'm just putting right. this in here, right? Right, nuisance. is a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. the old fella who used to hang people. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be able to tell somebody's weight just by looking at them. Right? Um, that's a bit of a bonus fact. <laughs> 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 we'll be the judge of that. The, the, thing, the thing that I wanted to tell you yeah. is, um, money for old rope, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, can't, I can't even be bothered. <laughs> yes, you're gonna tell me now. Come on, Carl. No, I mean it. Basically, money for old rope yeah. came from the, t right. What was all that about? He can tell someone's weight. <laughs> what was that for? Fact. And Brian <laughs> Blessed shitting himself. What are you, what? No, tell you. No, tell me. That now, you nearly made me swear then. Just, I'm getting really annoyed. <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed now. Tell me this fact, Carl, or I'm gonna go mental. <laughs> Come on, Carl, I'm trying to know. Not that people, years ago, when people used to be hung, right? Right. If you didn't like the person who's been hung, you'd go, God, I really don't like him. And, to, and so you never forget the time. Because even if they're being hung, we take that as red. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. So they never forget afterwards to get the hangman to get the rope and to cut it up into little pieces and he'd sell them. He'd sell the little pieces of rope to people. And See, that, so the, Carl, that's the most interesting thing, if it's true, that you've come up with. Right. Okay. And so what's, what's... You, so they, they sell the rope. They sell the rope and it's money for old rope. Money for old rope. Meaning, like, you know, God, it's easy to make money, that, that all I have to do is cut it up and sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing it go. I'm not so convinced right, listen, though. We're, we're really tight, we haven't even got time for the last talk, we've got an ad break and we've got to get out. Okay, give okay. the answers then, this is right. ridiculous. So, come Steve, on. do you want to pick a winner? Uh, I've got oh. a winner when you give us the answers. Okay, so the first clue was, uh, that army has got some well nice trenches. Yeah. That was DW. Who's that? Dandy Warhols. <laughs> It's brilliant! <laughs> it's brilliant! <laughs> right. It's good, yeah. Uh, the second okay. one. The top of them curtains are wrecked, all yeah. the material is worn. Yeah. HV, that's yeah. uh, Holly Valance. Oh, he got a phone call for a woman saying that I haven't heard it, and she went, she was, he was talking to her off air, and she went, uh, what is it? Uh, someone says, oh, them curtains. She went, all oh, right. She said, you know the thing around the top of the um, curtain is a palmet, not a valance? And he went, cut her off. Yeah, but. <laughs> My aunt is always making balances on everything. I'll tell you about that next week. Right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Right? <laughs> is this the one that farted for five minutes? Yeah, yeah, the very same. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, we'll talk about that. Uh, I was in Texas, I tripped up, I landed on my knees in a puddle, WH. Yeah. Uh, Wet Knee Houston. Right? Wet Knee Houston. Yeah. So, You're a maniac. So, who's a winner? We've got Pete Castle and Laura in Newcastle upon Tyne. They're listening uh, online, I assume. And, uh, they're going to Those great places. And remember, they've got loads of stuff. They've got uh, the DVD here, they've got Linda Green, they've got Stone Roses, they've got another compilation, and Executive Decision. What did you read about Brian Blessed? Is it actually true, or have you lied with no, someone else? It was an interview with him, innit? And what did he say? Oh, Come on, sorry. what did he say? He said, I, I climbed Everest and uh, I played off it with me belly. Uh, Let's talk about it next week. We've really run out now. Oh, you're a fool. <laughs>